Bang. I got bullied too. How? My kid's calling me a bully all the time and telling me I was abusive. Hey, that hurt my feelings. Plus, I think we're missing what's important here, and that's how much Economos sucks at PowerPoint. <laughs> He's a bully. He's not a bully. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I, I mean, let me tell you, I love Peacemaker, man. I think one of the best shows I've seen this year so far. Obviously, waiting for the Obi Wan show, which we're gonna talk about later today, and of course, the new uh, the new season of The Mandalorian. But guys, as you can see, welcome to another episode of Between Collectors. Feels like it's been forever. I was supposed to be here Friday, but we had some issues, so I have to cancel. But I'm here. I'm okay. Nothing happened. It was just work related stuff. And uh, we're going to be very polite today because apparently, according to the algorithm, we need to be very polite and stop uh, saying uh, bad words. Uh -huh. So this is your host, Dante, from Manafa Collectibles. Welcome. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm going to introduce my co-host of the night, uh, Fabio from Fast Figure. Fabio, good evening. Welcome to the show, senor. What's up, guys? Thank you for having me. Hi, everybody. Oh, we thank you very much for that. Also, <laughs> I would like to introduce one of my good friends as well. His name is Anthony, and he runs a show and a channel called Six Kill Mafia. Anthony, good evening, my friend. Welcome to the show. Hello, Dante, and hello, everybody in the panel <laughs> and everybody you? watching. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> thank you. And, of course, we have our, I think it's the first time in the show, Riley from Riley Reviews. Riley, welcome. Good evening to you in the west coast how are you today thank you so much thank you for having me i am so happy to be here and let's have a good time let's all have be great let's go oh, oh this is perfect yes i can smell some uh, oh my God. some lavender but hey my friend welcome good evening here and i hope everything is going uh, excellent and amazing with you my friend good evening to you all and blessings for everyone in the chat <laughs> let's get going it feels so weird to be super polite, but guys, you know, we have to be polite. So Great. Before, before we start, let's pray. <laughs> it's been a crazy few days. The world is going nuts, apparently, which sucks. Uh, but hey, this is how we start our polite show of Between Collectors. Man, I feel so weird talking like that. Good evening. Hey, it was good. Yeah. It was good. I know, That's a but good now intro, though. let me continue and uh, be very polite with my amazing people on the chat. I want to say good evening to my friend Carlos, who just became a member of the channel. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. Awesome. <laughs> More members, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we have Duck Collector in the house. It's gonna be a fun stream. Jason uh, Cogler, Cogler, Cogler. Mm -hmm. What's up, family? What's up, my friend? We have Paul Morales. Hello, everybody. How are you? Oh, look, we have Joao from the third party reviews. He does reviews of third party figures. <laughs> we have DC <laughs> in the house. Good evening, Robin Swartz. Come on, buffering. Oh, Robin, the collector, the Jedi Knight watch. I know that. Da, right? collector. Yo, yo, yo. Bad boy for life. Let's go. Boom. Go to dynamite. We have DT Arman. What's up, guys? Prime time reviews. Welcome, my friend. Uh, Van, Van City Collectibles Gaming. What's up, everyone? Fat Batman's Collecting Nightmare. Let's go. What's up, y'all? We have Luminara in the house. Hey, how are you? Community Arcade. Hello, everybody. Where is Ashoka? <laughs> what, is what is she? What is she? Hatos Collector, what's up, my friend? Good morning from Singapore. Woo. And man in the house, Django and Ashoka Sasha description says, expected to ship March 2022. Okay, we're March. Technically, we're March. Uh, JC in the house, Soul Nightmare. Thank you. How are you, my friend? Evening, everyone. And come on, Flex. Yo, what's up, fellas? Great panel. Thank you. And, of course, my friend Carlos Burgos. What's up, my friend? I'm waiting for Easy Company Collectibles to join anytime soon. And, of course, you know my shows. I always have to do this because I like this. I like 
a panther, like a panther, like a panther, like a panther, like a panther, like a panther, like a panther, like a panther. All right, so this is how we officially start the show because I mean, like, I feel weird talking like that. <laughs> Very, you know, with, with pulse and all that. But anyway, so how are you doing, guys? It's been a, it's been a really interesting uh, past few days, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We got, we got some yeah. announcements. We got the Ecto one. Finally, we got the Ecto one. We got some um, shipments. Some shipments coming, some stuff coming, some stuff still delayed that we have no freaking clue what's going on. <laughs> but you know it, it is what it is right we only have to put the face and just continue our lives and keep collecting because that's what we like but i want to start right off the bat because i wanted to do something about this but again i couldn't so my apologies for that we got the announcement of one of my favorite shows this year which is peacemaker mm. peacemaker man i'm telling you this show was fantastic but I want to hear my panel's opinion about this. I'm going to tell you my opinion because I don't think you guys heard me yet about this. So I'm going to start with Rally with the with a new member of the Between Collectors. What are your thoughts about this, my friend? Um, are you happy with this? Is this is what you were expecting? Just tell us everything. Right. Okay. So yeah, when I first saw this, I was I was a little I was a little conflicted because at, at first glance I was like, oh, this this looks really good. I, this this looks pretty cool. But after skimming through some of the photos, I, I started seeing some problems, and definitely I've I've heard from the community there's been a there's been big controversy with this. But uh, personally, yeah, it it does have its problems, and I probably won't get this figure if it remains like this. But having said that, I don't think it's like the worst product in the world. And one thing I will say is that the John Cena likeness, to me personally, I don't know if I know a lot of people disagree, but I think that the likeness is there. I just think the expression is just really goofy and it needs to be changed because I can still see John Cena a little bit, but people are saying like, nope, can't see nothing. No John Cena at all. But I personally, to me, I see John Cena. I, I don't know. I don't know if, what other people think, but I think the the tongue was a definitely a interesting choice. I think when everyone saw that, they were like, this, this is hot toys. I mean, like they were, they were just a little confused and he doesn't have like this look mainly in the show. Like people have said, like, it's not like a prominent thing. He has done it in the show. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if Hot Toys, if it was the best call to do it. But if they were to do it, I think that they had to go with the, they had to have the stern sculpt. Like, I think that was a big miss. I think if they want to go this crazy, wacky route with the tongue, you got to have the, the stern straight head sculpt because people just don't, some people just don't like having their figures like this. And I, I just don't think that's like a little fair to the people who just want to have the straight head sculpt. But if they did do the stern sculpt, I think that it would be definitely getting a lot more praise than it has been. And the joints are a little bit of a problem. They, they do make it look a lot like very toyetic. And he definitely needs to be bigger because John Cena is a big guy. And, and it, it looks like he, it, needs to be, it needs to have a little bit more weight to it. I don't know. It, just doesn't, it doesn't look like John Cena body-wise. But having said that, is it the worst thing Hot Toys have done? Personally to me, no. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But it does have its fair share of problems for sure. Hmm. That's a good. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, what you right. said, I actually agree. A, a, a bunch of them. Uh, Five. We're gonna go with you on this one here. So you know, Peacemaker. I, I love the show. People knows. I mean, I've been saying this for a long time. I, I love the show. I'm, I'm happy Hatos did this. Um, I have my concerns, and so I have some issues with this figure. But at the same time, I'm gonna get it. So I don't know if that's a, a, <laughs> a contradiction on my part. But you know, just because it is. It is Hot Toys. It is licensed. Yes, I agree with Riley. Uh, Riley. I can see the likeness of John Cena. Is it the best? Of course not. It is not. Do I have issues with the arms? I do. Do I have issues with the body itself? I do as well. Do I have issues with the accessories? I do. Do I have uh, issues with Eagly? I do. Fabio, yeah. what are your thoughts about this? Uh, well, like Riley said, I mean, so... I feel like the same thing is happening with this phase that happened with uh, um, Doc Ock. I feel like they're using, I don't know if it's their lighting. I don't know if it's their, their you know, the color scheme that they're using. They look very tan and it's losing um, texture to me. I feel like it's losing texture. You know, the facial expression, the, it looks like John Cena 100%, um, but the expression is what doesn't help. So if you look at it weird, you're like, oh, you know, you got to really look for his 
his likeness. But um, when you put the tongue in, that like really ruins it. Then he really looks nothing like you know nothing yeah, like him. I right. feel like so. Um, again, you know the body. What are you gonna do? They're gonna use whatever it is that they got. They're not really trying to you know give us a bodybuilding you know John Cena. Um, so, you know, they, they use the best body they could, um, which is the muscular body that they have. Um, you know, you get the two, it looks like you're getting two helmets. Um, if you look at the helmet from, I mean, if you want to get real technical and real specific, if you look at the helmet from the show compared to this, it's like a hundred percent chrome compared to this like weird color that we're right. getting. You know what I mean? This right. looks like the silver, the, the helmet on the show is like straight up chrome. You know what I mean? So you know, we could talk about that. Um, you know, we could get into the gun. Is it true that we're not going to be able to pose him with the gun? I believe we're going to be able to pose him with the gun. I don't think Hot Toys is going to go that crazy with giving us a sculpted toy. Um, but we've got to wait and see. <laughs> you know, it is funny. Every time that we get a release, you know, we, we always like, you know, obviously whether we love it or hate it, right? Um, what happened with Doc Og was, you know, uh, um, it was it was really crazy, right? Of course, it's not 100, percent right? And uh, Hot Toys came up and said, "No, this is this is, well, actually Hot Toys, but um, what's his name? JC uh, John came, John, whatever his last name is. He came and said that the you know this headscope is not final, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're gonna give the benefit of the doubt. I think it's gonna be an improvement. Again, it's a prototype, and I always said this, you know, if the headscope is good, no matter what lighting you use, it's still gonna look good. Uh, right. This one here, there's some. I agree with Fabio. Uh, you know, if you take the, the tongue out, it's gonna look better. You know, it looks much better. It looks more like John Cena when you put it. Certain angles, he does look like him. Some others don't. So, what are your thoughts about this, uh, Anthony? Well, at first glance, man, uh, I think. I mean, it's only March now, but I think this is gonna probably be a contender for worst figure of the year. Um, for several reasons, uh, so in my, in my God. opinion, oh, gosh, no. Anthony, just well, come on, the, man. Just, no, no, I have this, to. This have guy's to... like, this guy's like, XO6 is better. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> listen, no, it's, 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 it's more than that. On, Look, and, and, and I'm judging this, I'm, I'm, I'm a person judging this as the character because I haven't seen a single episode of the show, so I'm just looking at it from the uh, a figure perspective. The exposed joints is preference. Some people like it, some people don't. That's fine. That's not an issue. Um, the tailoring looks great, mm -hmm. but the problem is I think the sculpt is not right. Doesn't look like John Cena at all. The eagle is like junk. So, you know, it looks it looks cheap. And and what people are saying is that the gun's not removable over there in Hong Kong already. Now I don't know if that's just rumor, speculation. We'll see. I don't think he looks right. And here's the problem. And I'm not. And I'm not. I'm not um, blaming Hot Toys for it. I think one of the legitimate reasons is they probably, John Cena doesn't own his likeness rights. It's WWE. So that's why we have a head. Now, as a figure perspective, I would be like, yo, I would prefer a, a, a masked version and then a neutral head sculpt. But I don't. I honestly don't think they could have done it. But the eagle doesn't look good. It's like another Einstein. They're not doing their, in my opinion, I don't think they're doing very good with, with a... Um, with animals and stuff as of late. What so I don't know. There's always, even, even the worst hot toys is still really good. So like last year, the worst to me was, was uh, the armor and it's still a great figure and I still have her, you know what I'm saying? So even if it was low, cause there's so many other great things. Yeah, but you but, can't compare, you can't compare the armor with no head sculpt to this. Sure. Sure. But I mean, we just saw like a Costco Reeves figure and, and, uh, uh, Fennec Shan and they look phenomenal. And when I, my first viewing of this, I thought this was a third party figure, like dead, dead, dead honest. I was like, is this a hot toy? Like, doesn't, it doesn't hit me like that. Like if you were to remove the branding from these images, could you it, tell me? It looks you know, like a so-so toys. Right. Could you tell me this was a hot toy? It's like, take the Pepsi challenge. You know, who made this? You're like, hmm. No, this so is that's, for so -so. Yeah. That's where I'm saying. I just don't feel like it's up to hot toys quality and priced at $280. This is a no go for me and it sucks because i feel bad for people who collect dc because not only are dc releases uh spread so thin right then somebody may really want this figure and i'm like oof. 
Yeah, I if mean, if it was a Star it, Wars figure, I would be upset. Let me put it that uh, way. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a, one of those characters because the show is new and and uh, I mean, to me, I enjoy the show from beginning to end. I mean, I can stop watching the freaking intro every time that I watch the show. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, but Graham, I'm gonna go to you on this one because, yes, you know we we all I think um, are in agreement that the figure is not 100. percent That in some angles the likeness is much better than others. Obviously, with this type of uh, with the tongue like this, doesn't look as good. Uh, mm-hmm. We can also you know argue that uh, Eagle is not as as good either but to be an accessory pack. I mean, I wouldn't want to see the wings kind of like folding like this, so kind of like give him a hug. That would okay. be perfect, right? Um, Wait, but I have a question. But what do you guys want, like, out of this eagle? Like, you want real feathers? You want it to fly? Like, I don't. Yes, care. I want it to fly. I want it to be robotic. It the... No, no, you know, it, it's is. It, we just kind of arguing about the accessories because there's a lack of accessories based on the picture, based on what is officially disclosed. There's not too many accessories for this. Well, you, you know, got two uh, eagles. Uh, uh, sorry. You got two eagles. No, it's, well, it's, it's just one just, eagle, and then the wings have to wings. Yeah, now we were saying like they should give the the effect of of hugging him because the the, the eagle actually show, hugs right? him. Oh, is that what I got you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah like I, I don't watch the show, so I didn't. Know. Well, watch it then. Uh, and, then <laughs> and, and then and then we have the the helmets, and I would have wanted to be removable, so you could use a bunch of helmets, things like that. I agree with Riley with the the body, but what are your thoughts, uh, Graham? Before I um, give my rant about this. <laughs> All right. Speaking of rants, I did. Uh... I did my own show about this the day it came out, just, you know, based off of emotions. And I was really on the fence and I was really disappointed seeing it. And uh, because this this and the Batman figure are my most anticipated figures to be announced in 2022. I'm looking forward to them the most. Um, unfortunately, they're both DC. But as a DC fan, it's honestly insulting that Hot Toys gave us this. So I'll. It, Thank you. For the most part, I think it's trash. Um, and that really hurts me to say because I really do want to like it. I really want to add it to the collection. Like I said, I've been anticipating this figure coming out. I mean, to give us this after the show was number one on TV, they literally had this lying around from the Suicide Squad. They threw it together and they announced it because DC isn't their cash cow. And to me, they don't care about DC. It doesn't make them enough money like Marvel or Star Wars. So they're like, we'll still give you something. But should care about <laughs> Easy in the house. <laughs> Sorry, right in the middle of my rant, Easy. Terrible timing. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Sorry, Grim. No, uh, I have no idea what I just want. Got the powers. <laughs> but it, it just feels like DC gets, gets disrespected. And the reason why I say they had this laying around is um kiko collects actually talked about this on a stream this past weekend and the facial expression with the eyes looking off was actually on a suicide squad poster i don't believe he used the axe or the sword at all in the tv series so obviously those weapons are from the suicide squad we could have gotten like goff the butterfly in a jar as an accessory just something cool something different but um i really want this figure bad but I, I just, I know that we, if we aren't happy with a uh, figure, we have to show hot toys with our wallet. But at the same time, I really want a peacemaker in my right. collection. So right. it's really tough. But um, I, I think the body, it should have been seamless. But I think like Anthony said, I'm fine if the joints are going to be exposed, if the body is the right size, if it looks proportional. Mm. I feel like we're getting a Bane body or a, a Drax body from years ago right. that they just threw into this figure as well. Um, the head sculpt. Oh, I hate the tongue. I absolutely hate it. I can handle this open mouth look. And I understand that WWE probably owns the rights to Cena's likeness. So fine, whatever. But you gave us two helmets. Why not give us just two head sculpts, a stoic looking head sculpt, and then this one. So we have kind of more to work with because this figure is going to be it there's it's you're not going to be able to do a ton with it you're not going to be able to make it look really good in a museum pose i think it's just going to be pretty limited so you know that's that's a problem i have with it um i think in certain angles it looks like cena like this photo right here but then in other ones like anthony said it doesn't look like him at all but again it's just such a weird expression on his face and i get it you're like well if he would have been stoic then people would have been complaining that 
Hot Toys is not trying hard enough and they took a risk here and you know they're trying to do something different and make it goofy because that's what the show is but it's too far it's it's too much and for the hefty price tag right we should have gotten a second head sculpt with a stoic I mean again you got the different the different mask why not just make them solid sculpts and give us two that was my point dude if they would have met us in the middle right right because if they were like okay well we don't have his likeness so here's two half sculpts with a helmet one's stern one's action yeah but i I think they should have you know what they should have done given us the uh, captain america swappable pieces instead of this that would like, be nice there you go. yeah, yeah be, because be that would have that they would have given us one head sculpt with just removable pieces which we could turn into three head sculpts right. if they give us three different expressions and number two i feel like you know like like i said the the um the helmet the helmet too if you want to really complain the helmet's not the helmet you know what i mean it's not the, mm. the color it's not you know it should be removable because on the show he's he doesn't even have it on you know half the time so that's another right. thing that we can complain about, but don't be shocked if Social Toys makes this. Also, one last point: the pistol is not listed on Sideshow as an accessory or a weapon. Again, it it could just be the the Warner Brothers rule mm-hmm. of no weapons. You know, it might still be removable. But I have also heard rumors that people at Secret Base said, "Yeah, it is removable," and then they're like, "Oh, now I'm not so sure." And if if this pistol, the Peacemaker, isn't removable. It's unforgivable. It's, it's yeah. Unforgivable. I, I don't think that's going to be the case. But before I go, yeah. with my friend, is it all the movies? I want to say hi to Pirox Hila in the house. What's up, fellas in the panel and the collectors in the chat? And I know I have a super chat. I'm going to address it in just a second. Easy Company Collectibles, welcome. Good evening, my friend, to you. Thank you for uh, Hello, for joining us in this uh, beautiful night. Uh, how was the buttermilk? <laughs> <laughs> the buttermilk. So, what are your thoughts about uh, Peacemaker, my friend? You know, <laughs> this will be good. <laughs> the tongue. <laughs> What's up with the tongue? Is the tongue so, like posable? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah articulated tongue. Articulated tongue. <laughs> so what's the deal with the tongue? I so never you can got, move it. it like, you can yeah, move you can it. Move it. Yeah. I like how Dante's like, you can, you can. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, just you like you guys it. said, oh, it's a weird thing to do. I mean, really, it's a John Cena figure. And then we don't get a head sculpt. And honestly, when you really look at it, I don't even see John Cena. Some <sighs> angles. That this is the thing. Some um, angles he does. Some angles he does. Right. You know. One thing, th- one thing you guys don't know, um, and I think this is why you guys are bugging out. Um, John Cena told um, Howard that he wanted <laughs> to be Venom, so he gave him a tongue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. So well, this that, is that makes all, this all make sense now. This all makes sense. Day one pre-order. <laughs> Day one pre-order. <laughs> oh my Crazy God. There you go. But I think, yeah, I think the, the gun has to be removable. Like you can use it. I don't think it's gonna be. What's with all know, the wishy-washy right? statements then? Um, How does nobody know? Well, it's because the Warner Bros. Right? <laughs> They're gonna know. Warner Brothers. <laughs> yeah. How will they know? They're never gonna know. <laughs> They're gonna know. They're never know. They're gonna know. <laughs> But. See, like right here, like right here, the right picture looks just like him. The left picture with the tongue out does look, does not look like him at all. I agree. He's got two different helmets. What's that blue? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's two different helmets. Yep. Oh, so the blue he's one got a was that the? Uh, was that the one where you fly head first? Um, I can't remember what it was called, but uh, it was a different, obviously, a helmet for a different Helmets, situation. Yeah. Well, I think it's just a half right here cuts off, and that's swappable, right? No, it looks like no, it. No, I think it's two separate helmets. Yeah, it's a whole different helmet. <clears throat> oh, wait, I don't let me see. Yeah. We have no information on this, guys. Mm. I'm sorry. Oh, it is. It is because it's got, the, well, I don't know. It looks like it's cut off there. But then, I mean, if you look at the regular one, it doesn't look like there's any seam lines. So Either way, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to buy this. If you're a hardcore yeah, guy, it's two different because, helmets. Yeah. Two different helmets. Yeah. But this, keep in mind, this is from Suicide Squad. No, this is from Peacemaker, no, the, 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 the show. Yeah. Did, the show. Didn't they have... But, didn't but, they have, uh, but we think the figure's badge. actually from the Suicide Squad, and they're just rolling it out now. Yeah, look on yeah. the bottom. Does it say, like, Suicide Squad somewhere? No, it says Peacemaker. Nah, I think it's oh, Peacemaker. Look at the, look at the, 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 base. the base logo. Yeah. Easy, it's from uh, the show. 
<laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Somebody had to say it. I know, but but what was, what was, I, was th- I was thinking something is from the sh- uh, suicide. The squad. weapons are. It's because he looks right? exactly like he did in <gasps> the Suicide Squad. Easy. It's a peacemaker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys, but look. What the yeah. hell is that? <laughs> what the? What the? That's bigger than your head. Pokemon card, guys. Oh well. What the? <laughs> all right, all right. Then. No intel. That's not a card. That's a poster. Stop. Yo, it. that thing's huge. <laughs> they got some know. buttermilk on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, final thoughts about this. I'm gonna tell you guys. I, you know, I have my my. I'm gonna get it just because I I enjoy the show. I truly did enjoy the show. Um, some angles he does like John Cena, but this is these are the figures that over time people are gonna appreciate it. You know, this is something that sometimes you said, ah, it's trash crap, I don't want it. Then when it sold out, everyone, oh, I want it. Yeah. I want it. Yeah. I want to get yeah. it through. You know, so, you know, because I like the show and I'm super biased about this card, I'm going to get it. Of course, it's not 100%. We know that. You know, uh, the health club needs, needs some some love or alternatives. You know, the body is not as, as big as, as, you know, he is in real life. The single joints could be an issue. It wouldn't have the gun. It's going to be another issue. Eagle, it looks okay. It looks more toyish. You know, there's so many things that we can argue all night about this. But the, the, the fact of the matter is that we only have few figures from the DC line. And I was talking about this many shows ago. Yes, we love Star Wars. Yes, we love Marvel. But also, we have people that love DC. I, I'm i not into DC as much as all the people. But I do appreciate the characters, the main ones. I usually get the, the main ones, Batman, Superman, Aquaman, The Flash, the main ones, obviously, right? But there's all the people out there that want more DC figures. So this was a chance to for Hato is to do something different. And I think they missed the opportunity. Um, but 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 yeah, that's that's all I'm going to talk about this one because I want to show you guys before I go. And like Dante said, when uh, when it sells out, don't worry, I'll I'll have a few for you guys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but what if if we get that <laughs> with this headscope here? That's awesome. That is, looks so good. Yeah. So wow. this is a one six. Somebody customized this. Is um, that V collectibles? I think it's V collectibles. I think so. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know if you can use this one or not. But before before we talk about this one and and what Hat should have done. I want to say thank you to Anthony Scarabis for the $5 super chat. Hey, guys. Awesome panel. Just here to say hi. Thank you so much for the support. We really appreciate it. And, of course, welcome in. Yes, it's never too late to say hi, my friend. Never too late. So thank you so much, Anthony, for the super chat. He's just here for the hi and then unsubscribes, leaves. <laughs> He's a loyal one. He's All a loyal I came one. for. <laughs> Andrew James with the Dino 9 super chat. All the legends on this panel, my mind is all of you guys rock. Keep doing what you're doing. Huge respect and all the love and support as always. Thank you, Andrew, as always, man. Thank um, you. He has a really nice collection as well. He got recently a couple of figures that he was looking. Robocop was mm-hmm. one of them. Uh, but I appreciate for the 999 Super Chat, my friend. And we have another Super Chat as well as from Carlos, our new member. Corpus Clave is better than this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's, a, no, that's no. a stretch. Come on, man. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Stop yeah. it. Stop At least it. it looks like him, though. Stop being a bully in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Always. But, but thank you for the two super chat, um, Carlos. So, okay, I'm going to start with Easy because he joined late to the party. What are your thoughts about this Haskell, my friend? I know this is not licensed or anything like that, but man, that caught my eye right <laughs> with the bat. Hey, baby barfed. <laughs> Burns. <laughs> Like this head sculpt? Yeah. I think how sick is this? Something's man? off about it. I think his eyes are too close. <laughs> I think well that and his ears look humongous too. <laughs> he's got big ears. He, he's big a long, ears he looks like he has a long forehead too. Or am I tripping? No, he's got a big forehead. hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. It's final. This one sucks. But this Next. is better than, this is better than that hot toys one. Oh yeah. Yeah. This this you can see John Cena because John like the mouth area, that's so John Cena. And if Hot Toys would have given us at least that, besides the open mouth and screaming, and 
with that being said, I have to think there's got to be some licensing issues going on that Hot Toys just did not give us a regular smirk face when that's all they've ever done their whole life. And then this comes along. Yeah, there's something going on. <laughs> but why do, But why would that like I don't, I don't get it, though, because it's still him at the end of the day, it's still him. So I don't think it's licensing True. anything. I think I think what happened was, again, I think they're trying different things at our expense and it's not working out. I think that's what's happening. But was it J and D that came out with the statue as well, and they didn't have a likeness either? Was it? I think it was. That was that was Prime One. No, the, Prime, the One. Prime One. Prime One. Blitzway looks great. Yeah, yeah, it does. It looks great. great for now. Yeah, Blitzway, sure. You know? I know. I know. When <laughs> they collab like that, that they're not the best <laughs> <Yeah>. sometimes. <laughs> they joking around with the Joker, and then here comes, and then Blitzway just know. announced another Pattinson Batman. Oh man. So. Let's see. It's going to be fun. But yeah, I would much rather have this, even if it's like we're complaining a ton on this guy's head skull, but it's great nonetheless. Correct. Yeah. Hot Toys should have gave us something, something of this like nature. This, this yeah. straight up. If this would have been given, I, I'm pretty sure they oh. would have had a lot more pre-orders right out of the right out of the bat. You know, it's just that. it's just it's John Cena's Peacemaker. When you look at that figure, you're like, I understand that's Peacemaker, but what are you doing here, Hot Toys? So. Right. <laughs> so this yeah. one is John Cena. The, the other one was what? Han Comida? <laughs> 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 so, it, you know, it, it was a huge difference. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes you... But the point is, like, if you're going to buy a figure, right? And this is for the whole panel. If you're going to buy a Hot Toys figure for whatever price it is, 280 275 whatever, you know, and then the Hesco is not that great, right? There's some issues, some something. Then you need to end up buying something from a third party, something from a from a customizer, whatever. Isn't isn't that the, the purpose of buying hot toys? 100%. I mean, percent. You know, Anthony, let, let's let's start with you on this one. Yeah, a hundred percent. I get into hot toys because of the likeness. You know, that's what attracted me. Um, prior to that, I would buy little six inch figures that just you can't. You know what I mean? You can't tell. I mean, you know who they are, comic wise or whatever. But you know what I mean? A plastic piece. Now, all of a sudden, I see the figure. I see the actor, you know? I'm like, whoa, this is this is really good. That's what turned me on to these these figures, to this to the scale, size, right? Uh, and, and Hot Toys in particular, as, you know, late, you know, as of late, that was like, whoa, okay, that's why all these figures behind me are amazing. None of these figures have I gone out of my way to fix. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. I get out of yeah. the box should be all I need. There are exceptions with my hell I did buy a, a custom head sculpt, but not because hers wasn't good. I think her the 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 stock Hella head sculpt is still great with the big helmet and all the the the, the horns, you know. But right. I like the one that 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 he had made with the rooted hair. It was awesome. So that was more of like a a something that can complement my figure. Not I don't yeah, want to go out of my way right. to buy something but, to fix a figure. No, but it's still. But still, if you get a head sculpt and you want to make a rooted hair, it's still defend the purpose because it's still you're doing something to it. The point is, if you buy again, this is just my point of view. I can be 100 percent wrong. I'm just gonna let me just be clarify. I'm talking about my thought about this. Mm -hmm. If you buy a hot toy that costs 280, whatever the amount is, you know you're expecting to have. I mean, obviously not perfection because nothing is perfect, but you know close to the likeness because you're paying a premium uh, fee for the figure, right? It's not cheap. Correct. You know, it's not right. 20 bucks. So, you know, the moment you do something on the figure, like adding rooted hair or or changing the head skull or, or something, then you pretty much, you know, just put a maybe kit batch instead of instead of buying a hot toys. Again, this is just the way I, I, I see it, right? Because if you spend $285 for a figure, then you spend another 100 for a head sculpt, you're already paying a while, like, like 300 something. Right. right. Well, especially with Hella, because right. that, that, that head sculpt was about $400. But that was a, yeah. that was, but yeah, wow. but that was not a, oh, this head sculpt sucks. I need to right. get something better. This was just something that I wanted to do to complement it so I can right. swap it out. You know what I mean? Right. It's a little right. different. If I were to pick up Peacemaker, guess what I got to do? Well, you I got to go, go buy a new head probably. sculpt. I got to go buy a yeah. new body. I got to swap all this stuff out. And it's like, no, 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 no. That's not, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fabio, I want to address this question here. Uh, on the chat, is Hato is throwing a middle finger at DC? 
Is that why the dong is out sending <laughs> is out sending the message? No, 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 not no. at all. That's not. They no. would never do that. Um, I feel like, like I said, I just, I, I feel like they were, were, they were targeting more of the John Cena um, fans than the Peacemaker fans, I believe. So that's why, again, they wouldn't give you a picture of him going like this if that's what that wasn't their goal. You know what I mean? <laughs> going how? So what? Going how? <laughs> so it's, you know, it's like so, if a lot of people. Fabio Someone Singer. screenshot that. Screenshot that. <laughs> so I feel like that's what they were doing. So you know, um, I don't think they they were purposely trying to like give us a crap figure. I don't, you know, at all. No, that's not what no. they do. But mm -hmm. um, you know, they they mess up. And I feel like again, this is just pictures. When it comes out, it's going to be amazing, and everybody's going to want it, and it's going to sell out. And then I'm going to sell them for triple, and that's it. <gasps> Damn. Single yeah, songwriter. I like the um comment though this is like put on our tin hats and speculate we should yeah. have a segment like that we all grab our little aluminum foil hats i just put it <laughs> and think about i it. think hot toys is, is messing with us playing <laughs> <laughs> well, mind tricks jedi mind tricks but do you think, do you think that what was that's actually actually a good point because you know easy we don't get many dc figures and then the moment we get one there's a lot of controversy around it <laughs> so what yeah, do you think? Kind of yeah. Except it's... for the ex well, no, let me finish. <clears throat> except for the uh the nightmare Batman and, and Superman. The, nobody complained about those. Oh, because it's pretty much re well, it's pretty much the same. There was so much That's demand cool. behind it. And then a black suit Superman, everybody wants Sure, that and then Cyborg yeah. finally gets announced. But that's it. Well, the, the, another thing to say to that is that I mean, I know a lot of people want to like harsh harp on um hot toys with DC, but they did put that statement where they said that they're going to do Batman, Shaz uh, uh, Black Adam, and the Batman figures. So sure, they, you'll they get are, one they of are... each property, maybe. Two, if you're yeah, lucky. I mean, well, if the Batman gets a million, I'm sure they'll do at least Catwoman and Batman. Maybe it's even still another. good because DC doesn't have that much to offer, really, if you think about right. it. Right. You mean you have Iron Man in all 176 <laughs> yeah. suits. Exactly. So, of course, Marvel is going to be a winner dinner for Hot Toys. That's their that's their cream of the crop. I mean, Marvel dishes out variants. I mean, look behind mm -hmm. Fabio. Is that not enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> this literally, another... <laughs> literally, this whole case is Marvel. The whole yeah, thing. So, <laughs> can you do that with DC? You could probably, I mean, DC in in, in its entirety with Hot Toys, right. it's not that much really in comparison. Like even like show quality, movie quality, right? It's not that much. So. Although we're complaining, like, oh, it's not enough. Hot Toys is like, what do you want? Yeah, well, they, they could have totally gone down the whole Arrowverse line, though. They started to no, and then you're gonna recently. end up, you're gonna end up right sitting on like sitting stuff. I mean, it's gonna, your inventory is gonna be filled up. Nobody wants Arrow and stuff. There are people, there when they say they want DC, they're talking about Batman, Superman, sure. Wonder Woman. They have that. They're they have Titans. I mean, I'm just saying, yeah. And then, when they, and then they release the Joker and Arkham. Like suit, I mean, and then people's like, hey, I yeah, don't they've want been releasing this. the Dark Knight for like, like twenty okay, years. What do you want then? <laughs> I'd agree with, yeah, I'd agree with, but, to agree with Mafia. I think they did. They could have done a lot of uh, Suicide Squad figures, and they never did that. I mean, they did. They did King Shark. I mean. Yeah, there's there's it. options they out there. But, but let me yeah, let me ask wasn't you. It, wasn't it because the movie didn't do too well? Is that, is it? Is, wouldn't that make sense? Yeah, I, I mean, mean there yeah. were like four characters it's, people would probably buy. Well, didn't didn't Suicide Squad do pretty good or or no? I think Which it got good reviews, but Which one? I think like the, the box the new office. one. The new yeah, one. money, the, money was no. right. allegedly. Yeah, it was on HBO Max. So right. a lot of people didn't want to okay. go. Okay, yeah. right, but but I mean, but just to be fair, I mean, if you compare, for example, Marvel movies, I mean, we got bombarded with really good Marvel movies. I mean, that's not a secret, right? Then yeah. how many DC movies we we got lately that were like, oh my god, this is really good, like uh, you know, Avengers type of level of movie? Really, well, none. If you think it's about not, it, I mean, Snyder cut, but that's it. It's yeah. not a cut, Snyder but that's cut. it. But that was a re that was a movie that was yeah, like right. a few years ago. Right. So it's not like it was recently. No, now yeah. with Batman. This, exactly with this yeah. easy with this Batman here that that is that is gonna come this week. People already watching it in some other parts of the world. I'm assuming. I mean, the reviews are really good so far. Yeah, you know? IGN gave right. it a ten out of ten. They yeah, they giving right. they giving a ninety six percent Rotten Tomatoes. So that means that. We yeah, get, we're getting it to something, you know. So yeah, so far ninety six, kind of like what happened oh, with um yeah. with uh, No Way Home. Yeah, yeah, so, I think Easy's point's right though. Like because Marvel, or I'll say Disney has a plan, and they flood the market 
and they have an actual plan of what they're doing. DC's just kind of like, well, yeah, go ahead and make a movie, whatever. I don't know. They well, no, they are so doing that, that they're reflects going to the right direction. Sales. Well, another thing that I don't know if, it, you know, I may be off, but um, wasn't Disney, um, <laughs> didn't, didn't uh, Disney had just bought oh, out um, oh. Star Wars before the no. last three movies that, were, oh. that weren't so Stop good? Stop stuttering, Fabio. Because I'm trying to figure oh. out what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> um, is that is that is that true or not? Can you repeat that before yeah. the shut <laughs> up, easy? I'm talking, <laughs> man. Um, so am I wrong? Um, so I, I I think I remember that when uh, uh, before the three last Star Wars movies were made, Disney had just bought out Star Wars. So I feel like they were rushing to make movies to make that money back. Yeah, am they flooded the market. They were just boom, boom, boom. boom. Cause yeah, they they did the acquisition. I think in like 2013 or 14. Is that when? So yeah, and then was, Force Awakens came out in 2015. That's what I thought. So I feel like that was their mistake. They just had just spent all this money, and they're like, "Well, it's Star Wars. We're going to make some money back. back, right?" And they're like, "You know what? Let's make these movies." But right. I feel like it was just to make that money. It wasn't about fans. Right, Graham. Final final thought about this: the the Batman, the the DC universe. I I agree with uh, Easy. A little bit here and it does pain me to say that because there there isn't there is not going to be as much variety as marvel or even star wars and i don't think that it's hot toys trying to necessarily stick it to dc fans but if it's not dark knight i just feel like they just it's not a priority they just don't care because it's not going to be their cash cow so they're not going to focus on dc like they do with some of these other um, franchises and to be fair DC has not produced the greatest movies lately. They've been pretty up and down. Hopefully the Batman can kind of put them back on the map. However, there are plenty of figures that Hot Toys could make for DC. Some that come to mind is Harley Quinn from The Suicide Squad. I thought for sure oh, they were going to make a Harley Quinn in the red dress because Harley classic. seems to sell. Yeah, yeah Harley will just classic. sell. Um, Harley's going to sell. Even that Birds of Prey, right. which looks horrible, which is still going to sell. still isn't even out yet, but... Um, Catwoman, Penguin from Batman Returns, Mira from Aquaman, Snyder Cut, Joker. Like, there are still some figures like oh, they yeah. just don't seem to care about giving us because it's just not their priority. Yeah, well, I think Hot Toys is more because, concerned with Marvel and Disney. No, they when they come out like with figures out of nowhere, you know, it is usually out of left field when they come out with DC I'll, figures. I'll be right too. back, guys. No, okay. stay. Um, so I feel, <laughs> so I feel, right <laughs> so I feel like, um, so I feel like that's what happens, but they care a hundred percent or else they wouldn't bother with the, with the, with the DC license. If all, if all they cared about was Batman, you know, you know since I mean? Graham mentioned that I'm surprised they didn't make a Snyder cut, you know, Joker with the vest and the, all the badges. Yeah. I'm really it surprised. Been they didn't make that would have been an that easy figure been to make. Figure. Yeah. So right. they yeah. have the scope, they have the license. Why not? Because they don't have the and, long hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, sometimes it's difficult to see what they want to do, but sometimes they just come with something that we didn't even expect it. So, um, but we had 111 people watching, guys. Let's hit the like button. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes and subscribe right. to all my friends' channels here. And if you want to become a mer member of the channel, please do so because we have awesome content for members as well. Um, so so yeah man that was that was a good conversation about dc because a lot of people you know want to talk about this as well i'm all and, pissed off now oh i'm sorry i can't say that for the algorithm sorry guys oh shit pee pee poo poo check pee pee poo poo check one two three <laughs> so you know that's that's uh that's it is what it is you know hopefully we're gonna get a bunch of figures from this movie if the movie does good we should expect to see a bunch because they will definitely need to capitalize on, on the movie, right? Especially if it's good already, as, as some yeah. critics are saying. So yeah. now let's talk about this um, thing over here, which is the Ooh. Ecto-1. And honk, uh, honk, honk. Oh, man. This thing is going to be oh, huge. <laughs> Easy. Talk to me, I, man. Ecto-1. You know, I absolutely love everything about this thing. I absolutely love, right? Love and I'm not a fan it. of Ghostbusters. I'm not a fan of it at all. I love the vehicle. What is that? But um, no, I'm showing Joe out. The price, oh. <laughs> the price, is what's hitting me. Now I understand a lot of stuff is going on here, but that's really expensive. 
it's it's for hardcore people once again just like the delorean was uh i love the weathering on this though. i love the weathering i love that it's usb powered i love that they took advantage of every technology that they have in the <laughs> that they have in their you know arsenal spinning stuff siren um metallic accents here and there the body is not metal but i mean some parts are led lights all over the place i mean a little remote control car that it poops out that's so cool they got every little detail in there look at the rust weathering throughout this no, thing it looks amazing it's, it's, it's impeccable it's amazing now i say it's too expensive for me because i'm not a huge fan i'm not a massive fan i love I absolutely want this thing. I want it so bad, but for the price, I just can't commit. Um, am I going to be sorry later on when this skyrockets and you're not going to be able to get this anymore? Probably. But this thing is something to have as a collector. For me, like it's one of those legacy collection things, like one of those right. must haves. If you have the money, I say go for it. But man, it's pricey, but it's it's worth it pricey but worth it because if you were to get this custom done <laughs> you'd be paying like probably triple the price the right. weathering alone and the paint apps being applied with the led lights and in, incorporated in all the accessories and then you have like real metal pieces here and there wow with an interior the interior is fully detailed that's amazing yeah i feel like this this is this has more character than the original one this is like mm. you know i missed the original one and it's beautiful but this is like this looks like it to... grew up with you. This yeah, looks like exactly, it exactly. With you. Yep. This looks like yeah. I'm here for you, pal. <laughs> <laughs> it but is. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It, I, I I hope at time of release I can pick it up. It is. It is great. Uh, Graham, and where do we get thought... this from? When? Oh, oh, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna share where we're gonna get this from. Uh, but what were your thoughts about this, uh, Mr. Graham, about uh, the Ecto-1 Afterlife, Rusty one? I just saw Afterlife this week, so Ooh. I can talk about this. No, <laughs> um, I, I do like this more than the original. Um, kind of like you guys said, it because of all the weathering, you know, and the door jams and the quarters and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Um, it just gives it, like uh, Fab said, more character. Um, anything with with weathering just always makes it look so much cooler because there's just going to be more detail. But this thing looks like it's just built to the nine. You got the lights, you got the interior. Like Easy said, it poops. Um, a lot of cool <laughs> stuff about it. <laughs> I, I'm just a casual fan, though. Like, yeah, I watched Ghostbusters growing up, but I don't collect anything Ghostbusters. I don't. I mean, it's cool, but the price makes it an easy pass for me hey. i would much rather have the delorean for half the price right that's, that's true that's you know true. what this you know what this looks like this looks like they left the original one outside in the rain for a little bit yeah or yeah. give me this or, or give me the delorean and the tumbler for probably still cheaper than this you're right you're right yeah you're right. but but this one screens gray all over the place though this does because of the look of it like my yeah. artist side I used to do all that painting and weathering stuff as co like commission. Now I stopped because I ran out of time. But looking at this, it's so eye pleasing. Playing with coloring books doesn't count. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the windshield. That's cool. The, you know the windshield wipers, right. the dust. The it's just so pleasing to look at that. It will have so much value in the long run. I know you're gonna cry once with that price tag, but when you get it. <laughs> It's yeah, I think it, it'll be worth it when it's in, when it's in hand. I feel like, I, like yeah. I said, I, I I missed the first one. When I see, it, I don't I don't look for it. I don't see if it it's cheaper. I it's gone. But when I see pictures, somebody you know comes up or whatever, I'm like, my god, that thing is beautiful. But it's so big. Yeah, I know. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> Awkward Anyways. silence. You go, Raleigh, you. you go next. <sighs> Swing oh, baby, I think you have. I think you have space to get this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can make a cup. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> dude, now this this thing looks amazing, man. It it really does. But yeah, to me, I'm I'm kind of going off Graham and uh, Easy Company Collectibles. Uh, <laughs> too much, man. It's it's just too much for me. I can't I can't justify the price. So, I, but I mean, whoever's getting it, props to you. No no disrespect there. It's gonna be amazing. 
there you go. You're going to get it. I know you're going to get it. And uh, it's just, it looks so good, man. And, and like I said, I'm, I'm complaining about price, but the first one that came out, the, what is it like 3000 now, three, three or 4,000. So yeah, it's crazy. there's, it's there's value money. there. So it's, the value is there hundred percent to people. So I haven't seen the Ghostbusters afterlife. I had to see it. I don't know why I haven't seen it yet, but I used to watch Ghostbusters, but I just, I don't have anything collectibles with Ghostbusters. So right. it doesn't work for me. Yeah. And like you said, I, I think I'd rather go with the I'd go with the Tumblr, DeLorean, and even a maybe even a hot toy you can get all three rather than this. But respect to anyone yeah. who's getting this. It's gonna be a grail in the making in a couple of years. It's it's beautiful, but yeah, it's just not for me. And imagine if they make the new uh, Ghostbusters from the from the afterlife movie. Oh my god. Right. It's gonna Forget be amazing, it. man. Mm-hmm. Well, there's reports right. of them maybe making Ghostbusters too mm-hmm. with the swappable jumpsuits and the slime packs. That'd be cool. That would be sick because mm-hmm. uh, I am one of the many, I guess, who missed the chance of getting the Ghostbusters. Same. And now that we're going to get this one, the Ecto one, which you can get it from Comic Concepts. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But Anthony, since you're talking about this, uh, what are your thoughts about this? Are you going to get this one pass? Bio pass. Hey. Already done, brother. <laughs> Already done, man. I have su- speak of the devil. But yeah, I secured my order. But with well, Josh, the comic concepts, dude. So, dude, congrats. Yeah, it's good. good job, no, man. this is. I had it. I had it. I had to take a week. I had to take a week. Really, I had to take two days. But really, it was like a week because it's a big. It's a big purchase. It's a big decision. But after looking at it more and more, because I am a Ghostbusters fan, I have. I can tell you where yeah. I went, when I went, what day it was, where we ate, what we did, like when we saw these movies in the theater. Like it was very. I'm a Ghostbusters what fan. Do you eat? And, uh, well, I don't know what we ate, but you know what I mean. We went to Mexico. <laughs> like, like, I don't know the food. I don't know the restaurant. Give me a break, brother. Um, he said, I don't want to eat what I did. You know, <laughs> no, I did. Between this and like the first and second Batman movies, what color like, was I the carpet? Remember those days? <laughs> <laughs> Brown. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, no. Nah, the point, is, yeah. I just I remember those days. You know what I mean? Like going with my mom and as a kid, and like it was a big deal. It's Ghostbusters, man. That was our generation. I missed the first one. So it's like, look, here's why it took me so long. And what I mean by long is like, a, like less than a week. But really, because this thing is so beat up, I would have preferred the original. But at the same time, this thing is so beat up in a, in a well done way. Like they, mm-hmm. they nailed it. It's phenomenal. And as much as I love the first one, I would say I would argue that this one's better overall. Uh, it has yeah, because it's more detail. Yeah. Well, you guys mentioned, I mean, there's more weathering, there's more lighting, there's more there's everything. USB you can plug in to put in sounds. You can go wrong with the that. The lights spin. There's 37 lights, bro. I mean, this is not a toy. This is like a literal work of art. It's a collectible. It is a massive, <laughs> massive it's masterpiece collectible. collectible, bro. This thing is what, like 70 pounds? At least. Um, dude. And talking about insane. talking about that, Mr. My friend Joao from the third party reviews. He sent me a picture, but before I go with the picture, I want to say thank you again, Carlos, for the $5 Super Chat. I own the original Ecto one, but I'll be picking up the new one, the DeLorean and the Tumblr. Look at this. I guy. want pictures. I want pictures. I want, we want pictures. We yep. want pictures. Baller, yeah, Carlos Baller. <laughs> Fabio. Uh, yeah, Again, no, I, yeah, I, love, I love looking. It. I love looking at that Ecto one. That's what I'm saying. I want pictures. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be having an unboxing of it in a year and a half. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> and I, and I'll, wait for I'll that. live through you. <laughs> you can. It, it's it looks sick. great. It's just I just don't have that. No, this is a gray old. It's not a grail in the making. This is a right. gray old. This is the things that people complain about missing, and now it's here. Anthony, yep. just make sure you have your driver's license when it gets to you. <laughs> dude, if I could I shrink down, I would, dude, I'd cruise on that. Dude. So we're at 110 people watching. Hit the like button, guys. Let's make this to 100 likes because that helps a lot. Believe it or not, it helps the algorithm. Like uh, Anthony said, behind the scenes, the yep. algorithm wants to see the likes. And this likes yeah, it, it, like it definitely hit the likes. There's only 40 of them right now. Come on, hit the we likes. had 110 people, only 55 likes. Come on, let's let's. Those are problem, you know what the problem with that is too is almost everybody we recognize. Yeah, so well, you've already we been have the here. nice the oh, nice just click that people like here. Oh, we have Hyperdrive in the house. Hey. What's, up? Hey. What's up, man? Oh man, I'm telling you, like I'm gonna. I haven't pre-ordered mine yet, but if you wanna get, if you are 
thinking about getting the Ecto one, our friend Josh from Comic Concepts um, actually lowered the price. Mm -hmm. He did. He lowered the price. Was able so to get it lower. From, from um, let me see, what the heck is it? Uh, 17 now. It should be 16.99. Yeah. Let me see if I can find this crap. What is it? <laughs> Sold out. No. I'm no, just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> the one. Let me see. I'm stuck on searching sometimes. Oh, here. Here it goes. All right. So let me share my screen, guys, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So 16.99.99. So it's $100 cheaper. That's a nice uh, price. I, I will definitely, because think about this. If you're going to get this overseas, you're going to pay a lot of money in shipping. At least, <laughs> at least 800 bucks. At least. So, you know, if you're in the States, this is going to, you know, might be yeah. your, your, your chance. Big boxes coming from overseas sucks. Oh, yeah. I had to pay uh, just one of my first experiences getting a Prime 1 statue from overseas. $700. What? 700 because they added surcharges due to the current pandemic and crisis and blinking and people and stuff. <laughs> so my, abil stuff. my ability to breathe air cost me money. I don't know what it was. They just said surcharge. And I was like, oh, okay. Yes, sir. And I'm not going to cancel. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, this isn't something you're going to cancel and be like, oh, yeah, no, wah, whatever. No, you got to keep it because it's not something you can get everywhere. So right. that's what we're saying. Mm -hmm. It's like your keep phone bill States, has like five different Josh surcharges and hidden fees. You're like, what is all this stuff? All right. right, and I was like, oh, I guess I pay. $700? Yeah. The statue so, cost, you know, so me... 2000 And then you're, well, you're charging me pounds, a whole bro. new statue? I know. But let me ask you this question, guys. So, you know, we I think we have different opinions in the panel about the Ecto-1. Some of us are going to get it. Some of, some of you guys won't. Uh, not because you don't like <sighs> it, because you feel like it's the price or whatever. Now, my this is the topic that I want to go into now, and that's the reason why I'm asking this question. So, Collecting what's popular or collecting what you really, really want. Just to put an example, for example, you know, what was the, the movie that was in the movies recently? No Way Home. Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man has been popular, super popular. And you never, maybe you never had Spider-Man figures before, but then you decided to get all the Spider-Man figures just because it is popular. Not because you really like it, just because it is popular. So do you guys collect what's, popular or do you guys collect what you really like despite of the public opinion let's say everyone loves spider-man but you you hate spider-man but are you gonna get it just because everyone loves it so i'm gonna I start with company like blah, 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 blah. yeah i collect whatever my wife says i can can i do it yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> pre-order no i collect whatever i feel i collect i'm in both stages honestly i'm in popular and what I really want. Does that mean I'm a fake collector? No. It means if you want it, you got it. If you want it, you know. It's like, if I want it, I get it. I wanted the um, good example of popular was Marty McFly. I absolutely loved um, the figure. The movies I'm a fan of. And Marty McFly's recent 2.0 is amazing. I gave it like, I think a 10 out of 10 on my channel. Skip to him one month later, I have it up for sale. Does that make, <laughs> does, it's kind of funny, right? But does that make me a fake? Does that make me a flake? Does that make me context you know, is different like, because you're a content creator? Yeah, but, but I feel like that that I'm still talking. That I'm make still you talking. It, even if I'm a, this is has nothing to do with about being a content creator. I'm a content creator out of hobby. I'm not a content creator to be popular. Right. So with that being said whatever you see on my channel is because I wanted to see it. There's a lot of figures. Dante, I even told you like Dante is like, Oh, look at this figure. Or, and I'll be like, nah, I don't even like it. So why would I review it? I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. Right. So I also, collect that wasn't that the case really with Marty. Like. Hmm. That's not the case with Marty though. You liked him. I liked it. So I had it on my channel, mm -hmm. but then I got bored with it. Does that, yeah, so I mean, that's different. So that's, mm -hmm. it was popular. I looked at it and I said, it looks cool. I want to get it. I got it. I loved it and then ended up sold, selling it. And then what I really, really want is still here with me. And that's why I'm, I'm holding, you know, certain figures. I, that's what I really want. So, so, yeah, but the, thing, the thing is like, you know, people think that selling the figures makes you fake. The, the reason that people think that is because 
you know, easy sells because he has to pay rent. So it's different. You know what I mean? <laughs> Popular, if I want, I should, I should live in your damn basement. <laughs> That's where I am right now. I'm in a separate room in Fabio's basement. That's where I'm paying rent. No, but this is, but this is, this is a good, this is a good, uh, good topic because a lot of people usually ask me like, oh, you know, um, I want to get this particular figure, for example. And I said, dude, if you ask me that question, if you ask me, for example, oh, I want to get Pennywise, I'm going to tell you go get it because I love Pennywise. You know, I'm super biased about right. it, you know, but, yeah. but, you know, for example, this is a, actually Pennywise is a perfect example. You know, I love, I mean, me personally love horror movies. I love Pennywise. I got it. But then everyone, oh, Pennywise is trash. I hate, there's no freaking way I'm going to get this in my collection. But <laughs> hey, this is the boxing review of Pennywise. <laughs> so, uh, um, Graham, what are your thoughts about this? You know, collecting what's popular or collecting what you really, really want? I collect whatever you guys tell me is cool at the time. <laughs> That's the way to do it. There you go. No, I, I mean, because this hobby is so expensive, I think you really do need to be careful and you need to collect, you know, what means something to you and what you really like. If you're collecting because something's popular and that's like all you're basing it off of, I think you're maybe in the hobby for the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. um, I, I could never understand folks that go on social media and they're like, I, I understand kind of wanting, I guess, no, I don't understand it. They go on social media <laughs> and they're like, these two figures, which one should I get? It's like, well, only you can make that choice. You know, yeah, right. look inward and which one means more to you or do you have a connection with? And get that one. Like, why are you listening to me tell you, like, what to get? I'm not going to tell you what to get. I'm just going to tell you my what feelings you about it. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, but I think, I, oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, but I think the human side of us, it's easy to get caught up in the hype and what's fresh and new. And, you know, maybe at the time, I think, you know, you're caught up in the hype and you're like, yes, I do want that. It's really cool. But then I think, like Easy says, time passes and then you're kind of like, oh, like, you know, I think maybe right. I wasn't a great choice. Like, mm -hmm. I kind of did that recently with the armor. Like, I saw her in uh, the Book of Mandalorian and then, um, you know, she looked really awesome. And and uh, I know it's Book of Boba Fett. And uh, you know, I'm like, oh, I got to get her. She's going to be a great character. They're really building her up. And then I got her. I'm like, it's cool, okay. but I, I, I don't know if I need her. So I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit for that. Right. But I think sometimes that happens. You know, Marvel is huge, but it's like third on my franchise of collecting. So I, I like, right. yeah, I like Star Wars the most, Batman, obviously. But I do like Marvel. But like Spider-Man figures come out and I'm just like, I have a Spider-Man. I'm good. I, I don't need to get them. So I kind of feel bad sometimes when I'm, I, I'm not into the hype. But you got to collect what you like because you'll go broke. And you'll tap out probably. And, and that's a that's a very good what point. I, what Go I was ahead, gonna Mario. say, no, what I was gonna say was when you know, and this is personal from for personal experiences. Um, people have asked me. Probably, probably, probably just gonna say, don't go broke. <laughs> uh, you know, when people ask me, you know, what do you think? What should I get? You know, naturally, my instinct is they want to know what's worth more. So I always tell them what you know. I don't tell them. Oh, this one's prettier than this one. I just say, you know, if you're looking for, you know, what's going to be worth more, then that's where I go with that. But I never say like, oh, this one is better because it... never. I just I just go with, you know, what's more valuable because I feel like that's how I look at things. So Jera just said six 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 subscribers. Yeah, that's actually six thousand six hundred sixty six subscribers. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> that's what I have right now. <laughs> so make you know, if you subscribe, you can make this seven thousand. You know, <laughs> so that that will right. definitely help. <laughs> well, I mute myself. Was your uh, uh your thoughts about um, what we talked about? This the the collecting was popular collecting. What you really want? Whom are you speaking to, Riley? Yeah. Riley. Oh me. Okay, oh sorry. You were muted, I didn't hear. So you, we didn't hear. Oh you sorry. Were yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, for some reason, I, he, I I I clicked mute on purpose. I don't know why I did that. But, on purpose. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no yeah. Purpose. Right. <laughs> no, this is a really good question because a, a lot of people are always, like you said, like, which one should I get? Should I get this? Should I get that? But I mean, it it really comes down to what you really want. And I will agree. Like, if anybody's asking me if, oh, should I get this figure from Snow Way Home? I'm I'm gonna say yes because. I just love the movie. It's my, it's one of my favorite movies, but you shouldn't just base it off what other people are saying. It should be what you really want. And I think both ways are fine because there could be just be something that you think is 
just looks beautiful and you might not like the movie like let's say for wonder woman 84 a lot of people hate the movie they say it's like garbage it's not that good of a movie but the golden armor wonder woman is just amazing it looks beautiful so when you want to buy something like that and you don't have a connection with the movie and you're basing it off the looks i think that's fine too there's nothing wrong with that but i do think that you need to be very careful with what you're buying and make sure it's something that you do want at the end of the day because right no, no, no one wants. No one wants to go into this hobby to just get something and just stick it on a shelf, and you don't have real connection to it. Right. But, right, right, right. and and it's it's just it, it's really hard because some people will go into this hobby like expecting things to be grails, and that's another thing. Like, you shouldn't just buy something because you think it's going to sell out and go up in value right. because this is not the right place for you to be in. Like, I've talked with my one of my buddies, Carlos. He's the one who's who's sending super chats i'm cool with him and he, he he got out of he's getting more out of this hobby because he bases his figures off value he wants them to go up and down so to him he doesn't think that it's worth it because this isn't just isn't the right hobby for that it, it, it's really down to what you want at the end of the day that's all I'm right saying about it. yeah i mean at the at the end of the day i i agree but you know sometimes anthony you know when you um like when we're in this business doing reviews and things like that you know if you do day one reviews of pretty much everything that comes out you know you're just doing reviews pretty much right you're just reviewing it whether totally you're gonna different. keep it yeah. or not it's, right, it's a different right, right. animal like for example me personally i decided to 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 be more selective of what i'm gonna get and and, and actually give my honest honest opinion first of all and second of all realistic one so for example if i don't collect let's say pokemon cards just to throw easy under the bus here if i don't collect pokemon cards and then i'm all of a sudden i'm just kind of telling people oh go get it go get it because it's good but i never i i'm not into it at all i'm pretty much lying to you i'm, I'm pushing you to do something on. you know i'm pretty much pushing you pushing people to buy something they don't really want just because it's popular and that kind of sucks so, mm-hmm. what were your thoughts about this? I mean, yes, of course. If we do reviews, we're gonna try to get as many figures as we can. Now, let's be honest. Hato's quality is pretty good, so the like the chances that you're gonna get a good figure, regardless, is very high, right? right. And, when I, and, and another thing, when I say I collect because it's popular too, I don't say like, oh, I'm gonna get in on the bus too. I'm saying like maybe get I missed bus. out on something. Right. <laughs> maybe right. I missed totally. out. Maybe I didn't see what others are seeing, and I want to see it too. And right. it happened. What is the hype about, what, about this? Let me look into it. Yeah, and I, that's what happened with Marty. So that's why I was like, you know, it happens. It happens. Just like the Wonder Woman movie, it wasn't good. But the figure looks amazing. The head right. sculpt, not so much. But the figure looks amazing. Um, <laughs> and that's worth a pickup. It's mm-hmm. worth a pickup. And sometimes Which that's how hobbies and, and, and new figure? favorites start. That's how new, Wonder that's Wonder how you get into, Woman. you know, not being, what'd you say? Believe, oh, yeah, believe it or not, Woman. believe it or not, is he believe it or not? You see, I didn't have a review of Wonder Woman yet. Mm-hmm. I was super on the fence on getting that figure, just because. Well, first of all, because no, I, I know, thinking, I know you were you were going to get it at first, but then it died off. I don't know what happened. It died off because I was kind of like, I don't know, like I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt. First of all, I didn't want to pay the crazy amount of money for shipping, so I said, Mm-mm, no, I'm gonna wait. You know, so I got it. I actually ordered from Josh. So I'm waiting to get it, to review it, right? Mm -hmm. Whether I'm going to keep it or not, I will have to pretty much feel it when I get the figure on the spot, right? Now, I'm buying it to keep it. This is obviously the the main premise of this. But if I don't feel it, like after I'm getting it, of course I'm going to sell it. If it's something I don't like, of course I'm going to tell you guys. I don't like this. I don't like that. Whatever. So not necessarily what you buy, you know. You know, if you're a regular collector, you don't have a channel or anything, you don't review nothing like that. Of course, you're gonna get what you like mostly. But right. you know, when you're a reviewer, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough, it's a tough predicament because you know you need to kind of like say, okay, if I if I don't if I hate Iron Man, for example, I hate Iron Man, but I'm gonna get every single one. I'm gonna tell you guys, oh, go get Iron Man, but mm-hmm. I hate it. I'm lying. That's that's the way I see it. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. That's a good point. So, yeah, you know, don't so, start propaganda. propaganda. Yeah. yeah, and there's nothing wrong with selling figures. <laughs> it's like, that's not propaganda. It's nothing well, wrong with selling figures. Nothing wrong with right. that. You know, sometimes it. it's just Everyone's different. It. Mm. And when you get it in hand, it's just you have a different feeling than you maybe thought you would. So right. it just happens. And yeah. you also have to fund your collection with your collection. So things right. sometimes exactly. have to right. go. Exactly. And, and then your Fabio have a little space. Of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless I'm Fabio, no, but, I have a mansion. But I think I think I think the worst part of the whole thing is like. 
saying that you're going to get something that you know, number one, you can't get, number two, you can't afford, but it's just acting like, oh, yeah, this is a day one. You know what I mean? Like that that type of like attitude is like, but like it's very clear that you're not getting it. So why the show? You know what I mean? Like for what? That's what I never yeah. understood. Like yeah. I, I, I would feel, I would let me just real quick. I just mm-hmm. I, I would feel more more embarrassed being that way, trying to come off like I'm getting all these things that I'm not gonna get, rather than being honest and be like, oh, you know, I'm not getting it. You know what I mean? Like that's crazy. Like why do you need to, like you know what I mean? Like just lie, like blatantly lie about something you can't get or you can't afford. You may want it, but don't say. Oh, it's a, it's a it's a day one. I have to get it, blah blah blah. And you know you're not because then if you're asked about this item later on, oh, it's an excuse after an excuse. So that's what I mean. Like, why do that? Right. It is it is a good point. So you know, just to you know wrap this up, uh, move on to the next topic. Well, you did know, you want my opinion? No. Oh, I thought no. I thought you were. I thought you were talking. No, I didn't even speak yet, dude. Oh, okay. All right. You were like so, Anthony, and then <laughs> like. All right, well, let's let right, go. Go. You have the, you have the you have the last word. Uh, it's like my yeah, name so is Skip. Out, so long Anthony, out. Anthony's just here for the collection. That's it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. No. I, yeah. But we can totally wrap, man. Mine's not that long at all. But my opinion. Oh, thank clearly, you. Clearly. All right. So there's, now we'll, I'm just kidding. Go. <laughs> there's differences again, as we've discussed, as content creating. Right. Okay. Get that. Let's just pluck that out for a minute. Look at collectors. 111 people in here watching, by the way. All those of those 111, you're all collectors. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching, right? So, do you buy figures because you like them or because they're popular? If you buy them because they're popular, then you're a poser. Like that's my opinion, straight up. Don't get into something because it's trendy. Like ever since we were kids, I remember that stuff, right? Like certain fashion trends would happen, and people would wear it, or people would listen to certain music because it was super popular, and, tr- and they want to. I get, I get that. Oh, I want to feel like I'm a part of something. Well, dude, you're already a part of something. We're all collectors, right? So there's right. one constant that's right there. So what do you like? I get people asking me this all the time. Oh, what's better? I don't know. I love Star Wars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm going right. to pick up Star Wars. Right. Should I get it? Do I get, you know, do I get this, 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 uh, you know, Luke or do I get this Iron Man? I'm like, well, what do you connect more with? You know what I'm saying? Because it's your money at the end of the day. Get what you guys like. Right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like that's don't ever jump on trends because then you're dis you're you're doing yourself a disservice, in my opinion. Get Setting you yourself like. up for disappointment. Absolutely. Exactly. And and Easy makes up a good point about Marty, and it's something similar in a sense. Okay, so like you guys know I was touting about it because I started watching Yellowstone and I watched all four seasons and it was a phenomenal show. You know how I knew about it? Because I heard about it everywhere. I heard about it. Everywhere. I'm like, what the fuck? Is, what is Yellowstone? What is Yellowstone? And then I watched it because it was getting all this buzz. And that's not because I didn't jump on a trendy bandwagon, right? Same right. situation. And I ended up watching it because I kept hearing about it over and over. Oh, okay, okay. I ended up enjoying it. It's kind of like what Easy was saying. What's this buzz about with Marty? You know, okay. So I got into it. Now he's, you know, getting rid of it, but that's fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got it because of either your curiosity or 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 your 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 passion of whatever that property is that is the way you should be going in my opinion it's just don't the american way it. expansion right, yes expand or die uh, so, yes. aggressive you know expansion. so yeah don't don't do don't be getting stuff because it's popular fabio's also right i've heard time and time again we hear that stuff oh yeah i got this this is cool 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 you know you know, go buy it go buy it and then you know it's gone Oh, no, I don't, I'm not really a fan of that. <laughs> well, what the hell are you doing? You're wasting my time. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to your audience. You know, like, and it's just not, yeah. Yeah, it is It is always a fine line between everything you do. You know, sometimes you like something, you don't like it. You sell, you buy. I mean, that's the name of the business, right? I mean, some people yeah. buy, um, keep it 100% fine. Look, Fabio's so, a perfect example, man. He keeps all his figures. He gives everything. I may sell his, some his of mine. Like, you may sell some I, of yours. I, I, like I said, if I were to get rid of something, it would have to be the entire line. I can't get rid of just one figure and be like, oh, now I'm missing that figure, but I got everything else. I could never. I could right. never. But that's what's cool right. because that's what makes you you. Like, that's genuine, you know? Or if I'm like, ah, I'm kind of burnt out of Marvel, well, I'm going to get rid of my Marvel. I'm just burnt. 
right? Yeah, That's acceptable to me. It's like, who gives a shit? What do you care what I'm doing with my figures? Mm-hmm. You know if, what I mean? I get, if I get rid of Marvel, I'll have 20 figures left. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what's problem. funny? Like, you see, when if I have to choose between Star Wars or Marvel, I'm going to sell more Marvel than, this, than, than Star Wars, as a fact. Just because I'm more into Star Wars, right? Not to say Marvel is bad, because it is not at all. But I'm being more selective with Marvel stuff, you know? Of course, you know, I get some Spider-Man here and there, but I don't keep them because, one, I'm not into Spider-Man. But I appreciate, I really like the figure because it looks really good. But, right. you know, I don't, you know, I can live without it. It's not like, uh, you know, you know, it's trash and I'm telling you it's beautiful because, you know, I can't do that. But really, I know that you have to live in, uh, uh, so, you know, what's going on in your channel? First of all, thank you for coming first time, I think, on the show. Um, so, so what's, what's uh, so what's going on in your channel? Where can we find you, my friend? Yeah, so you can just find me at uh, Riley Reviews. That's going to be my YouTube. And my Instagram is just Riley Review with a Z at the end. And I actually got a collection tour. I posted a couple of weeks ago if you guys want to check the, the, the setup out. And I also reviewed this lightsaber I got. It was a NeoPixel lightsaber. It was a lot he already of has an impressive collection. Yeah, go yeah. check out his video. Yeah, come on. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate that a lot. But thanks for the invite again. This was so, this was so much fun. I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I love collectors, between collectors and you guys got to subscribe to Man of Hot. He's got he's got great stuff. Come on, thanks, guys. man. Man Appreciate of Hot, it, man. Sexy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm hot. Oh, look at that. I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but man, thank you, thank you for uh, for for showing up. And uh, I know you have stuff to do, so appreciate that. Right, right. Of course, yeah. But thank you, guys. It was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for everyone one. here. Peace out, guys. Have a good day. Take care, Riley. Take care. No, stay. Thanks, stay. Man. Wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. What? No. Oh, oh. You see, I'm excited. Uh, no. Nah, just go, brother. You're good. <laughs> He's like, don't touch me. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So, it's, you know, it's it's a really good topic to to to, and we can talk about this all day. Of course, you know, at the end of the day, you decide what you want. I mean, nobody here is going to tell you what to get. You know, if you want exactly. to listen to us, perfect. If not, then perfect too. I think the, <laughs> you know. I think it's it's all about the mentality. I think the crooks in here are the ones that hold their figures. St- Strictly for retail. Uh, I mean, not retail. Over retail. Right. And double the, like, they just want to double their money. Just scalping figures. And they buy stock. And they buy, uh, not you, Fabio. And they just buy. <laughs> Why would and, you, you know, even. They just hoard. <laughs> That's like one of these, like, racist things. And you're like, oh, I'm not, I'm not you. I'm talking about these guys, though. <laughs> oh, man. You, you know have no saying? idea. <laughs> no, because I'm talking about the people. Like, Fabio buys, but hoards. Just these guys buy. The <laughs> and then. <laughs> They they, if they they buy, hold, scalp. Right. Mm, right. That's the bad part of the community. That's oh, it's blue lining part. on Sideshow. Better buy 10. Right. Right. It's, 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 like I mean, Graham, there's... Go ahead. I, I mean, I was saying, Graham was uh, asking, like, Marty, I didn't buy him, hold him for a little bit, and then sell over retail. I sold him under retail. I think I sold him for, like, 250 So oh, I don't... I usually always sell my price. figures under because I... I I'm impatient. I can't wait, and I just want my money back. So I end up, <laughs> I end up selling super. Quick. I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm selling like a bunch of Marvel figures, and and you know some people give me super low offers. I'm like, mm, okay, no, you know, I just got to It's sold out. So you know, you know, obviously, if I said, oh no, I don't want to make any money, I'm lying to you. I mean, you know, no one only. Hey, easy I'll tell you one thing, Dante. <laughs> I just sold the, which reminds me, I got to ship it out tomorrow. I sold the. Wait Falcon. before you continue. Um, a point go no just real quick about Dante's point uh what he was just saying and that's even even if you you know want to just get rid of it you don't want to cheapen the hobby by selling below retail as well if something's worth the money yeah go ahead that's it Oh, no, no. I was just saying that was very very similar point like I just sold the falcon the the one in the his first appearance right where he's wearing his his camo outfit his military gear from the winter soldier movie I had a guy message me are you firm on the price? I ignored him. A couple of days later, it's not selling, dude. Uh, are you sure? You know, is there anything you can do? Da, 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 da. I just ignored it. I ignored him. I ignored him. And then my phone's like, "Bing!" You made a sale, and he bought it. <laughs> He's a Facebook. I speak buyer. one word to him <laughs> because you just gotta like stare at people sometimes, you know. And <laughs> that, 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 you know, that's the thing. You gotta know the value. Be like, no, nah, dude, I'm not. We're not gonna. I sold it for a fair price. I I sold it for three hundred and forty dollars. I think that was a little too cheap for that figure, personally. But you know what I'm saying? Like people will always try to do that with you. You you know Fabio's right on that. Don't drop it. Okay, Nebula, whatever. She sold out. Gamora, I think, is sold out. Right? I don't know. Like, yeah, I sold out. Yeah. So the point is, is these you can't get them anymore. Now I'm not saying you're gonna try to scalp it, but like, come on, man. Um, I'm already offering it at a reasonable price here. 
Right. I usually when I sell stuff, uh, mm-hmm. this is maybe for, for collectors that want to sell stuff. You know, when I sell me personally, when I sell stuff, I like to sell it in between. So, for example, if the high, if the scoping price is, let's say, $500 for a figure, and then you go to Facebook group and the average is, let's say, $395, just to throw a number, right? I like to put it, like, in between, like, maybe $370, $365, you know, around that time. Still cheaper than, obviously, eBay, cheaper than other people selling it, and competitive price, because, you know what, I'm still making money anyways. So, there's a, I think there's a fine line between getting your money back and greed being greedy you know like oh i want to i want to like a thousand dollars for this even though like you know i'm gonna wait 20 years to sell it well I mean, you offered okay so for nebula is a perfect example what how much did you trying to sell her for uh 9.99 <laughs> i would i would try to lower the price <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, no. <laughs> but if it's like it, if it's not like just not your something. credit score dummy the price <laughs> 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 I, I don't even know how much it's on. Hold on, let me see. Uh, you, you said Nebula? Uh, yeah, just two thirty nine. Two thirty nine. You're selling it for two thirty nine, and people are trying to lowball that. That's a good price. The, the, Gamora three thirty nine. I have the Was for two ninety five. The Admin for two thirty five. Ebony Maw for one eighty nine. I have Black Panther for four seventy five. Uh, That's a steal. One. That's a steal. You know, Doctor Strange for three twenty nine. No, shipping is extra. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but still, you're selling some. I double, sh- I double ship though, and and easy can vouch for me how I ship my figures. It's like the uh, Spider Man. When you get when you get figures from Dante, it, it, he doesn't even break the tape. You know that little tape. He doesn't. <laughs> even break like, no, no. Uh, we picked up the Thor from you, remember? Um, for Sean. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. He can, he, you know, took care you know, of it. I double, I double boxes, bubble wrap it. Like, it's kind of like if if I'm getting the figure for myself. Because yeah. you know, if you because we're collectors, it's different when you if you sell something for business and you are a good businessman, you're gonna <coughs> or business lady, you're gonna sell your figure. You're gonna try to pack it the right way because when you're a collector, you want to get your figure in a good shape. You don't want to get shit. Yeah, you know those are those are great prices, bro. Yeah, that I'd go with what Fabio and I actually talked about this on my channel. Just saying, you know, in an interview, same thing. People trying to go under retail, it's like, what the hell? You're going to ruin the whole market for everybody. Right. Or if you want, for example, a, a Jet Trooper, you can go and get it for four ninety nine from Fabuland. <laughs> yeah, see, right? Plus, you, you get three you know, stickers. You know, and, and this, is, this is how crazy. Today, and just some today, index cards. <laughs> just today, the same person in multiple groups posted that he was looking for an Endgame Captain America. And this is what he said. Looking to spend a hundred and fifty dollars. If this is too low, I can do two hundred. If this if this post makes you laugh, please tell me what's wrong. What? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a there's a fine line between low bowling oh, and you know being cheap. ridiculous with price. I mean, if the, if the thing is already in, in stock, right, Graham? If it's in stock and it's two fifty, for example, I mean. You're not gonna say oh, I wanna, you know, wanna, I wanna get it for like two hundred, right? You know, yeah, I mean, make sense. it just doesn't make sense. I mean, people are cheap. That's kind of what it comes down to. They want everything for free, um, but it's just not always how it That's works. That's not how it works. And this is a difference. Uh, this is a di- there is a difference between oh, trying to save money in terms like using discount codes or using special promotions if the website whatever. There's a difference well, between using taking advantage of that than being like low balling. Well, I, I remember too when I was selling my Iron Man Mark Seven. I think I listed him for. I mean, he he's on wait list now, and I think he was price was four thirty three, if I'm correct, around yeah. there. I listed him for four forty, and I would accept offers of four hundred and above, um, with like twenty dollars for shipping. And somebody just message after message after message lowballing me three forty. I'll give you three forty, and it's like no, I'm not willing to to go that low and eventually we settled on four and then he was a big headache after that but um yeah it's just i mean to me i'll i'll offer you what i think is fair Mm -hmm. and if it's not accepted well then i move on because that's your choice on what you're going to sell for i'm not going to keep harassing you about your price like right right and that's another thing that bothers me too me personally you know when somebody wants to sell something and they come to you oh but you know you should put it for 80 dollars less you cannot tell me how much I'm going to sell my figures. If I put right. 400 bucks and it's out of price, then I'm not going to sell it, period. It's going to sit there forever. you know. But don't yeah. come right. and tell me That's what right. price should I put. 
Correct. Because I don't think that's anybody's business. You can put for whatever price you feel is, is right. If you want to overprice it, you know you're going to sell it. We know you're going to sell it, but it's your choice. It's you doing your, yourself a damage, not me. You know, oh, but yeah. if you're going to sell something at a price that is, you know, first of all, you know, if, if you're looking to get at least your money back plus a bit more, which is a perfect game, valid game, you know, do you research before listing something so you know that you were going to get your money plus more? But don't don't just overdo it just because. No, I have, I, 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 have, I was going to say I have the same mentality. I'd rather hold on to the figure forever than sell it for less than what it's worth. Yeah, we know. You sound like my dad. <laughs> well, I would, I would, I don't would give anything away for free. <laughs> if it was, or if it or was a figure that was somewhat know. recent, right? And I'm just spitballing it out here because we said Nebula. So I'm just going to use her as an example. And I wanted to get rid of her uh, again, not as, as 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 like us, but just as like regular collectors. We're like, ah, oh, shit. You know what? Maybe I don't really care for her that much. And she's she's still pretty new. And maybe I just really need the money. I could see dropping it like 10, 20 bucks. Cause you're like okay i could just i need to get rid of it i need to get rid of the money you know what i mean but when people are like well this is a valuable figure or whatever and I, or, or you're fairly new and i want it below that's that's where it's crazy right because then when people start doing that then it like totally de it just it just screws the whole economy up dude um with hot toys i think no matter what at the bare minimum they should be sold at least at retail or a couple dollars under or something. You can work mm -hmm. with somebody if they're like, okay, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But never like when people try to lowball you like that. 150 bucks, like what the hell? Yeah, That's no, like it, <laughs> it, it does. And another and another thing to take into consideration is, you know, and that's and that's the issue I personally, you know, don't want to support Hong Kong resellers because of that. You know, because you know, you know. Sometimes we collectors tend to be a bit selfish, and that's and, and that's what it is. You know, it, it is it is a reality. Sometimes you want to hold on stuff that you know, you you know, you you can sell for X Y Z reason, but you know, we need to understand that there's markets are everywhere. There's market in the U.S., market in Asia, sure. markets in Europe, whatever. So if you like what happened with Hong Kong resellers, that it's hard for people in 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 that in that market to get figures just because. They tend to get everything, so they can sell it to the to the states, for example, right? And sometimes the prices and shipping are are a bit high. One, and if something goes wrong with it, it's, you're on your own because it happened to me, not only once, like a couple times, you know. So, you know, and that's the reason why me personally, just me, again, I'm talking about myself only, decided to step away from that um, and and just do what I just need to do. If I want to get something, I'm gonna pay the price at my own risk. Period. That's it, you know. And so far, let me tell you, it's been working out because I have better, I have peace of mind. One, you know, I don't have to promote a shady store that is gonna do horrible shipping, you know, or 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 mislead the customers, and or never get your package, or never get your package. <laughs> right? You get the wrong package every time okay, I order the wrong from, package or whatever. So I rather I rather pay the price for myself for my own channel, you know. And if I want to keep it, I'll keep it. If I want to sell it, I sell it. Simple as that. I don't have any type of uh, um, agenda or anything. Oh, I wouldn't know. That's it. You know, now I have my preferred store, which is Comic Concepts, is my preferred store because he's my friend. You don't so have any stock in any of these companies? <laughs> huh? You don't have any stock in any of these companies? Oh, no, I have stock in all the places that I actually make money. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, so, you know, that's that's what I, uh, you know, my, my personal um, thought about this. All right, so let's let's jump in on this one, Graham. I, I know that you have to leave in a few minutes. Um, yeah, I can uh, give me about ten minutes, and then I probably gotta head out. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this real quick because man, this one looks sick. <laughs> and I'm gonna start with Easy Compatibles because I know he's into this particular statues world. He might need a minute. Easy, and light so, This is so real, you can smell the poop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get back. Not here. lying. Ah, poopy. No, it's a really good statue. J and D has really <clears> killed <throat> it with this mirror. Um, the only thing about J and D I don't like—they really capture museum style. So then the base is just a block. That's the only thing. Other than that, it's insanely priced as well. <laughs> um, how much? Other than that, I think she was twenty eight hundred. Twenty eight. Three thousand. Yeah. So it's it's gonna be crazy. Um, that's this is just a one third scale for three thousand dollars. 
I understand they really, really work hard on these things, but not all the time they're going to be perfect. Joker had some issues with the hair. Um, oh, she's dancing for us. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to the bathroom real quick. Hold on. <laughs> no, bro, and, you're good. You're good. Just mute, Joker. The, mute the thing. <laughs> no. Squeeze one out, man. Joker <laughs> and <laughs> issues with guys. It. Brought to you by Easy. Yeah, I, this is the real pee pee poo poo check girl here. But Joker, I want to get to my point. God damn. Yes, please do. Uh, Joker had issues with the hair. Mm. Catwoman had issues that she looked like her Botox failed. And <laughs> the lips was too puffy. And I don't know what was going on in the face. It just really didn't hit it for me. The, 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 the Phoenix Joker they made, which was not really Joker. It was just you know, like regular Arthur Fleck. That was that was perfect. But the hairline, the hairline that was really thin. So certain issues with that and then charging this extreme price line, I think is a little bit too much of the extreme. I think this should be lower into the 2000 mark because one third with no accessories, no switch outs, no nothing, just that. I think it's a little bit steep, um, but... They can keep it going because it keeps selling out. It keeps sell. It keeps selling out in minutes to distributors. Minutes she sold out, and it's crazy. So um, it's a little bit expensive, but I do absolutely love what J and D does. They make hyper hyper real stuff. But for this price, three thousand dollars for that one third scale, right? You're thinking, you know, I pay three grand for that Batman, life size torso, arms, everything. Probably more silicone on his chin than there is on this whole thing. So you just have to balance out your money and see where you, you're putting your money at. Mm -hmm. Now, I put 4000 on the Joker life-size box by Infinity. That's a lot more silicone. You're talking about full head sculpt, way more paint apps being done, way more, way more stuff happening on a full-size bus like that. You have arms, you have his coat, everything, life-size. For four thousand, and then this is really close in price this point. Really good, man. way smaller. I mean, this should this is banging though. This is perfect, man. It's I'm like not, I'm looking I'm at it, like I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say I don't like it. It's banging. It's it's amazing, but it's it's steep, and oh, yeah. they're usually above price on 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 one third scale to me. Yeah, but, wait, you but, can remove the crown? Yes, you can yeah. remove the crown. That's cool. I mean, that's the only thing. The See my thing now. My thing now with statues is, you know, not that you know, I never I ever like care for. Like I always thought they were cool, but going back to that Joker you were talking about, like, how do you know that this is going to be just like this when it comes out, and it's not going to look like that Joker right. that was messed up? That that's something that scars you. Um, Prime One and Blitzway has been doing good until that Joker, but um, <laughs> you, you just have to find trust in the company. Like I found trust in Infinity because they're. And Queen even had to go back and correct themselves. Queen, like these companies at a high end level, they start correcting themselves. They don't release it until, you know, like it's perfect. Jandy had minor issues. That was minor issues that you can really blow off even at this price. So, but the Blitzway Prime One Joker, that just, oh my God, that just blew it off for me. I was like, complete, no. I was just completely like, no. This is a beautiful piece, man. I, I'm, I'm looking at this. I'm like, damn, this is fantastic. Graham, what are your thoughts about this? Mira, 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 Mira. Well, these uh, these one-third statues aren't obviously my expertise because I collect mainly um, one-six. But I do admire them from afar. I do check them out, you know, when I yeah. see them announced and whatnot. And uh, especially it's, this one. Especially this one. It's so lifelike. It's mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Um, it's sexy. I mean, can I say that on here? Is that okay? Um, no, but I mean, it, it's just these, they just keep getting better and better. I do worry, you know, yeah, will it look this good when it's um, released? But I, I think it'll be okay. But just the amount of detail, it's like a spitting image of, of Mira from Aquaman. And uh, I wish I had the funds and the space for, for this kind of stuff because mm -hmm. I would love to get into, to, um, one third uh, statues because they look awesome. And just, again, the detail that you're getting with these bigger figures, um, the Batman that easy has is amazing. Like, again, if I could have gotten the Harley Quinn bust or the wonder woman bust, I would have, but I can't. So um, I think for anybody that can spend the funds on this, 
I think you're going to be happy with it. If you're an Aquaman fan, I think you're going to be happy with this. Plus, she's just gorgeous. So. She's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Easy she's on the eyes, gorgeous. man. Yep. Yeah. And with 120 people watching, hit the like button, guys. We're almost 100 likes. And of course, if you want to subscribe to all my friends' channels here, be my guest. All the links in the description below. I want to say hi to my friend, Desi from Metamorphic Costumes. What's up, everyone? Mm. Better late than ever. These JD pieces are amazing. Have to get one eventually. Don't we all? I mean, if the price weren't that steep, I would probably get a bunch of this, but it's too pricey and I have no space. So even though I'm super tempted to get statues, which eventually this year, that's my goal. I'm going to get one statue at least this year. I just have to because it's just this a matter one. of time. Just one. Just one. This one. No, not this one. This one. This one's it. gone now. This well, I mean, gone, I man. think I think, I think think Spec still has it, but... Um... I wonder if Comic Concepts has them. No, he probably sold out. Did he put them up? We have uh, K Kanui 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 10, member of the channel. Thank you, my That's friend, so for coming. Hey, guys, just want to say hello before uh, I start the stream from the beginning. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, my friend uh, Anthony, what are your thoughts about this beautiful figure? Mm. Oh, a statue, it's rather. Good. A figure, it's good, a it's great. It's it's a 12 out of 10. Um, I don't really know the character. Don't really like the actress, but all that aside, this thing's perfect. This is absolutely stunningly. I first saw this. I watched the video. I encourage you to check out their video on it. It's crazy. They're literally making people. You, you know, it's it's scary, like how good they are with these. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's out of. Is it out of my price range? I don't know. Like, yes. But only because I'm not connected to this. Okay. If they had the Star Wars license and they did something crazy like this, if this oh, was a princess that Leia. That would be a different story. If right. they, if this company does JD with the quality, because they yes. do really good quality, do Star Wars, I would, I don't care what that is. I'll, I, I would be in the wrong game right now. Yeah. Yeah. I would be, I would be picking these things up. I would work, I would find a way to do it. Um, phenomenal, 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 phenomenal piece. Uh, and I know sometimes it's hit or miss, but more more often than not, it's hit. You know, um, like Easy said, there's some some minor issues here and there, um, but that goes with anything. And nothing to to like seriously complain about, though. Um, obviously, that Joker was weird. The Prime One Blitzway collab. Uh, I don't know what the hell happened to that. Um, yeah, that one that one was a tough one because I was Easy. We were talking about to to get one, remember? And uh, and and man, I was like. Yeah. When I saw, luckily, when I, <laughs> luckily, I didn't tip you on that yeah. because I was pushing you hard. I was like, "Get this Joker! It's going to be an all-time <laughs> one-third to own. Don't miss out." And instead, I missed out on three hundred dollars on my deposit. Mm. Yeah, no, no pressure. Uh, yeah. So before if I was wealthy, I would do it. Yeah, Arthur, Before you way. continue with your point, um, my friend Graham needs to leave us. He has some uh, special stuff to do. Yes. So thank Put you so much, my bed. friend, for for <laughs> for staying with us. Appreciate it. And uh, what's going on in your channel, my friend? Yeah, thank you so much for having me, um, gentlemen. It's always a pleasure hanging out with you guys too. Great discussion. I really enjoy it. So thank you again, Dante. Um, yeah, lots of stuff going on on my channel. We did a six scale symposium live stream last mm. night. Um, had a lot of good discussions there. Uh, the Han Solo Stormtrooper disguise is live on the channel. I'm hoping to review the Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper this week. And I did pick up the Arya Stark from 3-0 Game of Thrones at my uh, local collectible store, which actually um, looks more impressive in person than on uh, camera. So I'm going to review that as well. Um, yeah, come by the channel, come by Instagram, post some pictures here and there. So um, you said that's that, it. You said your show was yesterday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you send me the link? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be next week, sir. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, it was great hanging out with everybody. So um, I'll catch the rest of the show probably uh, a little bit later. All right, man. Thanks, thanks for thanks for coming, man. Uh, yeah, buddy, and again, good evening. Graham's link is in the description below. If you want to join, to subscribe. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. See you later, guys. Later, bud. 
So let me address this super chat from my friend Carlos again. Ten dollars super chat for the amount the GND need to look good from any angle under any lighting and exactly as a promo. Personally, not a fan of life size busts and uh, uh, one twos are too massive. I agree a hundred percent. If you're gonna pay that much money for a for a statue, it has to be close to it has to be the Damn has perfect. to be the prototype. You you cannot afford to say, oh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be eighty percent of the likeness. No, no, no. You can't. Has to be good. Yeah, you know 100%. how mad I'd be. I'd be stupidly pissed if my Batman didn't come out perfect. That was one of my worries. Is what if they screw up? So I, I'm always as soon as release date hits, I'm always hunting for the uh, uh, pictures, the release, mm -hmm. the release images, because I'm scared. I'm like, I hope I didn't just waste my money. But yeah, it, like half, half scales are way massive. That's why I don't do them. Um, life size busts, I love them. Like these busts, I just I think they're amazing pieces amazing. of art. Like the Literally one. having the character in your um, collection, it's cool. That's cool to me. Literally having the guy in your collection is just cool. That's something cool to me. Yeah, I know it, it is good, and of course you don't want to, you know, when you get something like that, you want to keep it as you want to have something as good as a prototype, right? You don't want mm -hmm. anything less. That's 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 for sure. That's right. for sure. Um, but thank you, Carlos, for the for the super chat. I really appreciate it, my friend. Now let, let's talk about this here. Sosa Toys came out with this beautiful Superman figure, and it is not a secret, Fabio, that Sosa Toys has been, up, you know, getting better and better with every release so far. I mean, we got Gambit, which to me is the best, by far the one of the best figures I I own from this from this uh, company, and, and so far I think the best. Um, me personal opinion, just just to be aware, uh, just to be clear. So, <laughs> so far, what are your thoughts about this uh, uh, Superman figure here? <clears throat> Beautiful. I I know this is from the the, the show. Um, that was the name. Um, because I, I I don't watch it. So, but it was like the Legends of Tomorrow, the whole crossover, yeah, right? Exactly. Like so, yeah, Crisis on Infinite Earth. The likeness is there. The uh, the the outfit, the colors. I love those vibrant blues and reds. Like amazing they pop um i was actually um i was at, what, last night i was watching uh easy's review on the spider-man classic on on you know just messing around on my big screen tv and i feel like the blues do the same thing as the spider-man suit they're just so vibrant and they pop so much i like i said i don't watch the show i'm getting this figure 100 percent because it's going to look amazing on the shelf mm. Wow, what what are your thoughts? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is that me? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. but this is like very nice. I like, <laughs> yes, but it looks very nice. I don't even know about like I, I don't know about this show. And I'm I, I'm a pretty Superman y type guy, but I don't know about the show. But as far as the figure looks, it looks cool. I don't know what's going on with the scrawny legs at the, in this image. Um, could be <laughs> angles. It looks yeah. kind of skinny. Like at least Hot Toys give them junk power, and in here it looks like nothing's going on. But the hair sculpt is is insanely good. And hair on third party figures usually are pretty crappy, even sculpts or rooted, <laughs> what you may call them. Mm -hmm. But this one looks like actual hair. Like it's really done well, and I hope this trend just goes and transfers onto the actual release. But just look at the hair. I want to like that's one thing that I'm impressed by right. as a third party, you know, company. So mm -hmm. it's really good. And Soso Toys, you said, yeah, Soso Correct. Toys, yeah, they they catch the light is very nicely. But but look at this, you know, you see the 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 base is not a, a um what, power pulse base, whatever you want to call it. You see a, a few hands. The, the cape is wired, so that's a huge plus. Uh, yeah, maybe we can argue about the body. It's kind of bit, it looks some angles look a bit weird, but the Hesco band, the Hesco band is the money over there. Mm -hmm. And that like, over here, it looks like he has big legs, so it's good. I don't yes. know. It might, might have been that. You know, you know, you know, this looks like the same body that they're using for um, Peacemaker, exactly the same body. Really? Yep. Look at the joints, look at the elbow joints, look at the, look at the bicep. It's that same exact body, it looks like. Mm, yeah, it does look like it. Uh, but I want to say thank you to Ashley Chase for the 799 super sticker. Thank, thank you, you so much for the support. Ashley is one of the OGs as well. She always 
he, sorry, he, he <laughs> always watched the show. So I appreciate it, Ashley, for the seven ninety nine super chat, my friend. Um, so yeah, this Superman is definitely. I wanna, I wanna get this one just because you know, the the Cajun dealer Gambit sold me. So obviously, if you wanna see this figure firsthand, you need to check out my friend Joao from the third party reviews because he does all the third party reviews. <laughs> right, all the third party reviews. That's what he, does. he does them all. He does, he does them all. Yeah. And that's a good one. And uh, and last but certainly not least, I want to talk about this one real quick as well because... Again, my name is Skip. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Oh no, my God. You, know what, no, you know what? why? Because you were gone when he st- when Easy started talking, so he didn't see you. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's yeah, yeah. I, was yeah. I was like, am I up next? Who's that? Is that me? Anthony, I know. sorry. I, uh, you out no, it's, 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 it's all... Now I feel like, look at me. No, no, intentional. no, no, because I no, guess because yeah, you 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 turn off your camera, so I, I, I did for were... a moment. I'm trying to, you know, not to, yeah, uh, yeah, no, it, it, yeah, no, but realistic, yeah, this thing's cool, man. I, however, am familiar with the uh, with the show, so it was really cool to see him reprise a role of Superman again. Because remember, he was in Superman Returns, 2006, so really cool that he got to be Superman again. Oh yeah, this is Brandon Routh. That was who who he played Superman in, to, right. in Superman Returns. And I actually enjoyed that movie though, especially yeah. for the for the the soundtrack. It was pretty much the same score of the uh, the old movies, you know. Dun, yeah, dun, it was. Uh, dun, it was. Dun, 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 dun. It was trying to be like a direct sequel to Superman Two. Yeah. And it was interesting. It's an underrated movie. Go watch it again now. It's it's pretty good, man. It's pretty, a good it's, flick. It's it's a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah. The the issue was it was like. Cool to see him come back, uh, even briefly, you know, just for this event. Obviously, it's a different suit. I enjoy it because it's Kingdom Come. It is it is Brandon Routh, though. It's not like a the Alex Ross style, right? It's based off the actor. But as a third party, I think they nailed this. The sculpt looks awesome. The hair looks awesome. Uh, again, as, as Easy mentioned, the wired cape. I mean, this is all. This is great. This is a great figure. Soto, so, 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 so Toys so, has so, so, been toys. killing it. So, 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 so. Right, they've been rocking it, bro. Uh, this is a great figure. Uh, I'm sure it's you know, um, priced accordingly with them. You know, it's great, man. That's it. Uh, no, that's that's a good point. And and let me tell you, man, like Soso Toys, as I said before, they are doing a really good job with the head sculpts. I, I really hope that this company gets licensed, to be honest with you. That would be to me. No, 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 yeah, no, I want, I licensed. disagree. I disagree. No, no, I, want, I want to keep the price low, yeah. huh? Yeah, one will keep the price low. Two, they can do two. Like yeah, but, but low, you huh? see, I'm afraid. Okay, this is this is my fear, right? This is my fear, and again, this is just me. You know, of course, right now is good, whatever. But if they're getting so much attention because of the quality they're doing, the good health clubs they're doing, that's gonna, you know, all those big companies are gonna go after them, and they might end up being, being shut charged. down. And well, then what's gonna happen? Name. You're gonna end up with nothing. Mm-hmm. No, then yeah, but it you know it takes time, and then you're gonna see a new company it's with a, so so toys will be if if toys, if, yeah, if, if toys, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, CC you toys. Know. Yeah, well, look, here's the thing. The only reason I say that, and I, and not not to not because I don't want them to succeed, if that is their goal. Right. Keep in mind, a lot of these companies, including Hot Toys, started as third party figure, uh, third party True. manufacturers. True. So if that's their goal then yeah i'm all for it but we've spoken about this before we would probably never get a bloody version kingpin for example things of these natures that's true they can do whatever the hell they want to do right now yep so i'm all for it give us the figures that you know they're they're not gonna do so i i don't know again it's it's a weird it's weird right yeah yeah it's like you want to support it but you know it's not cool but it's like it's good for us because they're cheap and they're still great but it's like oh my god like it's like it's like a prostitute (laughs) 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 with with the analogies but anyway guys we almost 100 people please hit the like button we're almost done and I'm gonna stay with you, Anthony, so I don't skip you. By which you oh, well, thank you, man. I, that means <laughs> so, the world to me. Today. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue with you on this one. So wait, Anthony's here. I know, right? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Clean, Clean is what? What are your thoughts about this? I kind of, I, you know, I'm not. I'm gonna be super honest with you. I'm not into any of these movies. Mm. Um, but I'm just the, 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 but the Hescope 
and the way this looks looks really good and even if you're not a fan you want to kind of like mm, i want to get this one right because it just look because this is it's different you know that's that's the reason the quality is there the way i see it but what are your thoughts about this this is a tough one this is just like what fabio and i are talking about just right now a little bit different though like this looks great i want to support it but for the opposite reason because it's it's clint eastwood it's cool but at the end of the day it's sideshow so like you know you know what i'm saying i did it yeah, to, did i do that's it to, a, no, that's a good point that's a good did point. i do some skips on p-rock i'm sorry man oh i just saw the <laughs> chat. Oh. It, sometimes it happens i get it but twice in a row dante <laughs> no, I'm just, <laughs> I, I, um, no i'm i'm kidding i'm i'm kidding um sort of but yeah i think i think you know <laughs> It's, it's it's Clint Eastwood. It's pretty cool, but again, it's sideshow, and they haven't been. Now again, you said their horror line has been pretty good. I don't know how good their bodies are, but I don't want to get a Clint Eastwood and pick him up and have him swinging around like Woody or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, you know, you know what I'm saying. So that's my only issue. That's a, oh 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 P Rock. Okay, that's right. He said Dante did it to P Rock, not me. I'm in, oh. I'm in the clear. Well, now Dante's doing um, it to himself. He is. <laughs> no. Uh, so this is tough. Okay. Okay. You got, okay. You grabbed Freddy. All right. Freddy. Freddy. Now can you can you shake him? Can he? Freddy. Does he wobble around? <laughs> That's a sideshow figure, bro. <laughs> Do it again. It's so bad. I mean, it's 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 Woody, like you said. Yeah, he's Man. kind of. Well, well don't it's ruin your figure because you know you pose him too <laughs> no, much. I'm, I'm going to fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just it's like Dante knows it's past that. It's just it's gone. Okay. Yeah, no, it's gone. Yeah, this one is gone. And I, I will be ashamed to sell it anyways. If I have well, to, 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 <laughs> if I sell it, I will say, you know what, give me a fifty bucks for this. You know, to be fair. Like, I'll pay I'll pay you uh, to ship it for you. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, to, actually, to give... I might I might get a different body because you can actually take the whole outfit out. Oh yeah. yeah. Don't, don't, yeah, you usually don't need waste to, the man. figure. Yeah. But here's the thing oh, no, no, to, to, cool. to Sideshow's credit though. The figure looks great. Can I get it? Is there another angle on the head sculpt when you're done playing with uh, Woody? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, if there's a different, because I think it looks great. I think it looks great. And and Clint Eastwood, um, oh, back, you're not going to need to be, um, he's not going to be in like crazy dynamic poses ish. This mm -hmm. is a very like legacy collectible, right? You know what I'm saying? Like that. Mm -hmm. I pose him like that or or something. He looks great. He looks great. Like I wouldn't mind picking this one up and the um Fabio, who is it? You just told me. I just did the video on him. Um who oh, what? The Punisher. Who who was that again? Uh that the company? was yeah, that was uh present toys. So they have a Doc Holiday too, if I'm I'm not mistaken. And Ooh. that would look really good paired with this. Yeah, unrelated, but just the theme, you know, or mm -hmm. you can get that that uh uh, that Arthur Morgan from Red Dead, that third party, kind of yeah, cool, like a while. nice, you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Arthur, you know, you mix those guys yeah. in together, have a cool Western thing. I think this would look great. I think he looks great on his own too. You see, um, you see, Pira throwing throw me, you see, Pira throwing me, and then the boss. He said that I did it that to him. <laughs> well, I, it's because I apologized <laughs> live, and he corrected that for me. Good so man. thanks, P Rock, for well, thanks, don't, P -Rock. don't don't listen to P Rock. He's drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but otherwise no dude, i think this looks great while i pick him up i don't think so because i don't have a ton of one-off uh collect collectibles so i don't know where i would put them and put it with pennywise man everything goes with pennywise here's a perfect example of, of of tonight's earlier conversation does this make me a hypocrite because of the earlier topic you and will and you, and Will, <laughs> and you, uh, I, bought I, 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 I bought Pennywise. I bought him. He's, he's not here yet, you're but I bought him. But you'll see. So, when you get it, you're going to see what you miss out. Right. And you're going to really see, like, wow. It's a difference because... Uh, <clears throat> Well, actually, no, it's not a difference. Uh, because oh, no, I'm just, because, because said, let, me, let me be clear. I just have an aversion to clowns, but I grew up watching the original It. Right. I've seen both of the, the new movies. I'm not like right. afraid of it. So, I just so, don't want to so, wake up, have that damn thing staring at me. Yeah, it will. So just put it in the bathroom. 
<laughs> and, all right. I can put so, it in the roommate's bathroom. <laughs> so I think <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. So I think I think if you, how can I say this? You can change your mind. Absolutely, you can. Mm. You know, you can never say. Oh, you know, you can say no now and yes tomorrow. It's it's it's, it's good. It's valid, right? The point is, if you trash in something for a long time, try. Oh, there's no way. Absolutely not. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And then you get it. <laughs> yeah. You know? the, the other the other reason it's I bought them too. If you don't is like, it, you I don't like it. Thinking, I would want to support. I want to support Hot Toys in that endeavor because it's such a one-off extreme. And if they go, oh right. look, this thing sold no, amazing. No. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I kind of wanted to show the support. And honestly, dude, if I get burnt, I'll be the first to tell you here. I would probably sell it down the road, right? Versus any of my Star Wars figures, right? Right. But I'm going to keep him for as long as I can, you know, enjoy him. And who knows? And if I do, do I might even hook it up with, to one of my real life friends. You know, what we probably can love do. that figure. You know, what we can do. Mm. I'll send you a jet trooper. You send me Pennywise. Oh, that's deal. a good deal, man. A, that's, a, 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 that's a great deal. Yeah. Jet trooper is going for what? 500? Yeah, probably 599 now. Yeah. 599. Uh, yes. Are you talking about the sequel trilogy Jet Trooper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't they make one for Battlefront or no? No. They didn't. It's for the new movie. Oh, you really? can kindly go. <laughs> you know. yeah. It's funny how Anthony was like. <laughs> and I was like, is he like serious for fucking right now? Like, and it's like, they fly now? Yeah. What? No. Yeah, they Give fly me the now. one on the ground, maybe, from the originals. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. But. but but you see, there are figures that is really impossible to say no. Like, mm. like to me, like even you. I mean, I'm biased because I, I'm into horror, right? Yeah, Pennywise yeah. to me was amazing, freaking the best horror figure I have so far. You know, I really hope the Hato is, does more of this. You know, I think when they they're proven time after time that <laughs> every Lopper. that every one of figure that they do is actually pretty good. Alita, uh, Hellboy. Uh, the Matrix, um, Pennywise, whatever, uh, Jen Wick, you know, and you know, Dante likes horror because he has a gremlin right behind him. Look at that, he's got a hat on and everything. <laughs> I know, <laughs> don't feed him after it? midnight. <laughs> that, that's another, don't get him like, wet. You want a, a force sensitive gremlin <laughs> coming after you? Oh man, that would be sick, but uh. <laughs> But yeah, so so you know, I I, I just really hope that we see uh, um, more one-offs from Hot Toys. I, I know a lot of people will be very happy to see that. And yes, Alida is amazing. I sold it actually. I'm still I sold it. I sold it. I, I sold it. But you see, sometimes it's the, okay. This is a, one final topic. This is this is one topic I want to talk real quick. So, hey Fabio, so he skipped us. <laughs> <laughs> he skipped us. All right, so let's do this real hey, quick. So because, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, okay. this is... This Anthony, is Anthony was like, finally! I, know, I was <laughs> about to say it verbally. There's no way he was like, oh, me. <laughs> he would be like, there's no way he's going to skip me. No, no, but no, okay, this is, this is the thing. No, you probably we, would. You'd be like, my thoughts are, all right, guys. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? I'm right so, here. Oh, so we, okay, so sometimes we need to make the tough decision of selling figures. Whether mm. it is because you want to make space, or because you need money for anything, or just because you know you this like Easy mentioned before, you just you know you don't have the feeling, the connection anymore, and it is okay to to let the go to let the figure go if you mm. change your mind. It is perfect. There's there's not nobody with a gun pointing at you saying don't sell anything, keep everything you have. Nobody. You Fabio can do whatever you want. Speak for yourself, Only Fabio. man. Only Speak for yourself. yourself. <laughs> Only Fabio has the little, like, the, the, the little, like, the good angel, bad angel talking. He's like, what? Okay. You know, but... the good one already left Fabio long ago. <laughs> long ago. They just, like, buy it all. And he's like, yes. He, he, he gave up after the first 400 figures. <laughs> yeah, it's right. like, he's like the butterfly. He's already in the jar. Like, you know, <laughs> that's, his, that's his good angel. No, no, but what oh, I'm yeah. going to say is that. You know, like my case, when I sold, for example, uh, I sold Alita, I sold Hellboy, I sold John Wick, I sold a few other figures, right? Mm -hmm. And and it was a tough decision because I like them, all of them. You know, I really do like them. However, I need to say, okay, I need to make space for more Star Wars figures because I'm main to Star Wars. So should I sell this or should I keep them? And so you're very say, limited you know what? on space, too. Exactly. So you need to make decisions sometimes, right? So buying and, buying and selling is... It's okay. It's a it's a fair game, you know. Don't don't 
you know, think that by you selling something, you cheating the system because it's not. Because sometimes you need money. What happened? God forbid something happened. You need you need money to pay a bill or something. Oh, yeah, and you you run out the door, dude. That's it. You sell everything I mean, you possibly yeah. can to to make your, your your obligations, right? It is unfortunate, of course. Is that your fault because maybe you didn't budget yourself properly? Yes, maybe. that's too. Mm -hmm. You know, so those those are the things that we need as, as collectors. We need to think about. You know, whether you want to get something because you really like. Or you're gonna get something for pressure, because it's popular and because you don't have any connection with it, but you just want to get it, and then you're gonna end up in a hole because you're gonna buy pretty much everything. You're gonna go back in time and buy, I don't know, like a DX, uh, you know, uh, DX07 Luke Skywalker, or buying like a quarter scale, you know, Vader, or buying a, a D23 Captain America, for example, right? Going back in time to get something that. It's already super pricey just because the pressure, because all oh, my friends have it, so I have to have it too. You know, so that's that's the reason why you know I think collectors need to be very careful and always pay attention to the price, pay attention from you know who who are you buying from, if if that retailer is worth whoever you decided to buy, doesn't matter. You need to make sure that you you're comfortable with your purchase. That if something goes wrong, you always need to think about if something goes wrong, what is your action? What are you gonna do to to for you to not lose the money, you know, Execute because you order 66, right? So those are the questions that new collectors and all collectors, you know, need to have in mind. Should I pre-order now or wait until it's released? Up to you. There's really no, there's no really, you know, way, good way of collecting, right? You can collect what mm. you like, first of all, and you can spend the money you want and buy whatever you want, Right. I can tell you to buy this, this, and this, and this, but if you don't have the money, you don't have to, you know. So you you, you need to be very you know careful when when you when you start this business because or collecting not a business collecting because uh, it, it is a fun hobby, but also if you do it wrong, I was in a hole, and and it was horrible because selling my figures, I was like shit, you know it hurts. <laughs> But I want them back, and I was trying to get some back, but I couldn't because it's too overpriced. I'm like, I'm not paying that much money. So, you know, you can live without it, I think. Final thoughts, Easy. I'm getting Clint Eastwood. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I Actually, I just like you guys are saying, although it's not that popular, I'm still going to get it because it's what I like. Yes. I absolutely love Good, Bad, and Ugly and Clint Eastwood films. And like Anthony was saying, you don't really have to have him in a crazy pose so the butter joints won't, you know, won't affect it that much. So I like that. I like that. You know, you can leave it in that. Butter and joints. then if, if really comes down to it, change the body. Um, it's a it's a bad thing that Sideshow charges what they charge for crappy, still like year after year, crappy, 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 crappy bodies. And why are you not fixing it? There's literally not much engineering you have to do. Just go and grab a Hot Toys body, figure it out. So, but yeah, I'm going to still pick that up. And whatever Dante said, I, I agree. <laughs> What's up, Luke? Lou? <laughs> Fabio, Ooh. what are your thoughts? See, I would just I'm being because, skipped live, by the way. Just that, <laughs> that figure, any other time I would get it because I get stuff like that. But. <laughs> But because it's Sideshow, I am nowhere – I'm not going anywhere near that figure. Um, I never had a problem with Sideshow. I, You know, I got – what was the last figure? I got the last door they made. So why would you skip um, it? Because I got um, the Boba Fett Mythos <laughs> after that figure, and it was trash. And that's why I'm like, you know what? That's it with Sideshow. Like, no, really. Like, the outfit is beautiful. The helmet, everything is perfect. But that right. body is so embarrassing. That I'm like, you know what? I'm yeah. done. Like, I am done. But Clint Eastwood's like, body is a body you need to collapse. Like, he's so, like, just. Yeah, until you get him out of the box, you put him on your shelf, and he's just. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I'm not going anywhere near Sideshow. Unless it's, like, you know, uh, something, like, that's, like, really, like, rare that they made, which I doubt. But, right. no, nah, I'm not getting so, him. But so, I, that's, I why, that's why Fabio buys vehicles, because, you know, his posting skills are perfect when he buys vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> out of the box, baby. Uh, Perfect. Know, look, look, look at the North mask. North look at the mask North behind North. him. That's a nice pose, man. <laughs> That's not true. I had the DeLorean doors open. 
<laughs> That's a dynamic post for Fabio. <laughs> so Anthony, what are your thoughts about what we discussed about collecting in general? You know, whatever. Just do, just make your point. Wait, wait, whatever. Hey Anthony, uh, yeah, whatever. What, what do you got to fuck? What do you got to say? Whatever, man. Um, no, but, no, no. But uh, seriously, you know, like as I mentioned before, you know, when you buy something, when you sell something, how you collect, popular, not popular, whatever. You know, at the end of the day, is is everyone's yeah choice, i mean those right? are all great questions but i think they're all roads lead to the same path and it's you do you you know what works for you i don't want to do just follow trends go ahead if that's you i'm not going to tell you you're wrong if you want to sell your figures because you're you know you need money or you're bored with them or you don't have space anymore that's all you you know, again, right. nobody's. This is you. You can do whatever you guys want. Just you know. Imagine me calling authentic. you. Imagine me calling you fake, Anthony, because you sold a figure. That's just stupid. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. No, do but that. He, he, oh. no, but here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Here, I think this is where people, you know, get that mixed up with being with the fakeness. You know, having to sell. Let's say you have a collection. Having to sell one or two figures fine but it's like you buy to sell buy to sell buy to sell and you really at the end of the day you don't really have much anyway that's what i feel like that's what they mean what they say fake yeah you know what i mean yeah, because you don't even are, have a collection are... you don't even have a collection but you're buying to sell buying to sell buying to sell yeah, but and you don't have anything but just to put the devil's advocate here you can do that and that doesn't mean so you're wrong because you can do this as a business you can buy and sell as a business, and it's a hundred percent valid Co point. Correct. No, no, what I'm but, saying is, what I'm saying is, somebody saying say I'm a collector. collector correct. You know. Correct. That's what I mean. Saying saying that you're a, you're a collector, but you don't have a collection, but you're buying to sell is not a collector. That's what I mean. So that's when the right. fakeness comes in. Right. But if you have number one, even if you are a collector, a collector, if you're going to sell figures because you need the money, there's nothing wrong with that. But you're still a collector because you have a collection left. Right. But if you don't have a collection and you have two, three figures and you're constantly buying and selling, that's not collecting. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's what. No, actually, that's... yes. No, so you know, it, it... I know, I know somebody that actually collects but doesn't open the figures. Mm -hmm. They just keep them in the box. How is that collecting, though? That's what I'm saying. Well, hey, wait a minute now. Mm, I don't know if I agree with that. I'll say because, collecting because, boxes. I mean, Anthony. yeah, but but but, but, <laughs> but, but, but Fabio did. Fabio does. Well, no, 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 like I, right. once I got my space, I opened them right up. So it wasn't collected. That's a whole different story. That, that's right. my counter to easy is what I mean. Like you for a while had to because you didn't have space. But he's right, not but that's intentionally not collecting, collecting boxes. But that's he's not, not collecting intentionally boxes. Collect. It's, it's, like, it's like me saying it's like me saying the boxes that come in. For example, let's say uh, I get a, a delivery Probably today. Triggered. No, no, no. It, oh, it, oh, you, you mean with the explain. intention of never opening them? Correct, correct. If oh, I got okay, yeah, if I got a box here today and I never opened it, but I'm would I be considered a collector? No. I'm holding a box. Right, you I get you I mean? with that. So that's what I mean. That's what, bro. That's this what is it. like Spotlight Hour round two. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you're right though. That's different. It, with getting them without the intention of opening them is much different than saying, "Damn, I need to collect. I don't want to miss out on these. I'm going to open them when I have room. I yeah, just don't Fabio, have space right Fabio now." Fabio almost crushed you with his thighs. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 uh, 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 he was turning green. You didn't see that. No, no, he because, was no. Green. Because, no, because you you have to explain to people. You know what I mean? Like I've never the collected boxes, right? right. And I've never. No. But what Easy was saying, I was saying the guy just gets literally goes from the UPS driver, grabs it, throws it in the closet, and says, "There it is. I got the five hundred first trooper." <laughs> All right, so no, we, you did it. You got a box. <laughs> we, right, actually, that this is, is a little a, weird. This is a pretty I, and good. I know people like that. I know people like that. And they're hardcore collectors. They're still like, oh, this head sculpt is off. This this is happening, and that's not coming with it. But you never open anything. You literally just I think we're collecting. Because yeah, but I think as weird as that is, I'll just preface this. I'm sorry. But I think as weird as that is, 
Like, who the hell are we to judge? Though? I don't. Yeah, and of course, nobody's right. to judge. But in I that think respect, it's weird. In that respect, it's and I'm gonna put myself. To me. And I'm gonna put myself in, in in this example because that's exactly what I'm doing with my SHV yards. I have a bunch of them, and 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 Easy and Fabio knows I have a bunch of them in box. I haven't boxes? even opened them. <laughs> I have few like that I open. Balls and stuff? My dragon, my Dragon Ball Z figures. Mm-hmm. I have no, a bunch. No, you can't say. Stop right there, because you can't say you're collecting boxes. Right, you can't. You, you can't. I know your plan. You plan to eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I know your fire plan. the laser. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, no, fire but listen, laser. listen, 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 Linda, listen. Linda. <laughs> <laughs> I oh yeah, well, the one I have space, but but I can actually make space if I want. I can actually put other hatless in boxes and put my... Fabio, you see this guy? He's trying to throw himself under the bus. You see this guy? You see this guy? Uh, Number Anthony, one what, do you, guy. what do you think of this topic, Anthony? <laughs> what do I think of what? I'm sorry? Of the topic. Anthony Karate says, what do, you guys do, real quick. what do you guys do with the hatless boxes? Oh, oh, from the Super Chat. My apologies. Now you're talking to me. Thank you, Anthony, for that. <laughs> Anthony is Anthony Karabis, and then Anthony. Can okay, reply. my bad, my bad. I hear my name, I respond. It's not my fault, man. I was born with it. No, no, but what do you do with the boxes? <laughs> I'm, now I'm asking you the question. Me? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. No, oh, he doesn't want to talk. It. No, he doesn't want to talk. Listen, 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 listen. No, I... no, no, you talking to me? No, no, you talking to me? All of my boxes. <laughs> will you people? All of my boxes are under my bed, bro. Facts. How, how big is that? Yeah. Bed? It's, got, a like a, bed like it's like a like a like it's a king size bed, a, bed a, and it's it's about it's about two and a half three feet tall. He's got a jail size bunk bunk bed. Two and a half three sleep feet under my bed. Brown. You could crawl in. Yeah, you can crawl in and sleep under under my bed if you want to. You know what um, kind of monsters live under your bed at night? Two uh, to yeah, three foot <laughs> boxes. Um, yeah, no, it's probably it's probably like two two feet. Two, um, approximating. Um, let me let me let me give you a, a, a frame of reference. I can, if I play Tetris, this is how I roll in here. I could put three Hot Toys boxes high. Holy cow! So you could play Fort inside the under your bed. <laughs> I used to be able to, but now there's no room. Now it's like I, now they're like spilling out on the edges of the bed. You guys, this is what's great about it, bro. Because all we have here is a nice three by four frame, right? Everything looks beautiful here until we move our cameras. Move so the camera. You, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Move I, I can't camera. really move it the way I got it posed. I'll send you move some pictures. All right, um, guys. Hashtag move the camera. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> I can't, I can't just move the up. You I know, that should be something for your live streams. Hashtag move the camera. Well, it's, it's, it's locked, camera. too, on my thing. You know let's what see, I'm talking about. Let's, let's, let's see how many move the camera hashtags we get. Right, I'll just do this. To, I'll, just do, I'll just to prove a point. I can't move the camera. But I'm just going to reach. Freaking Cardi B is on your bed. Uh, <laughs> Cardi B. There's a, yeah. I don't know what, what is this. Spider Man. There you go. Uh, it's down. within reach. Wait, why don't you want to move the camera? You have roaches or something? I don't get yeah, it. Like, I mean, it's locked it? down. What is this? Um, there's another you, Spider Man. I don't know. It's all under yeah. my bed. Uh, no, no, because no. it's my, my camera's on this pole, bro, and it's. Pushed right against the wall, and then if I try to move it, it's like on a. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. So you see, just I just grab it yeah, and move so. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can teeter it like this. That's about all I can do. There you go. Now pull it away and, and move it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm, like, I'm, I'm messing around. Yeah. I know. Go. I'm just letting you get. Well, everybody's in here. Move the camera. I can't. Fucking Lou. I can't I, move I, the I, camera. Yeah. So that's my thing. It's all under the bed, bro. Because I'm in like you know a small ass apartment. <laughs> that that's what it comes down to. I mean, I got all my Star move Wars out camera. here, move and I have all my camera. XO6 stuff. Move the camera, and then we all the other stuff in the camera. So no, you get Lou. froze. <laughs> yeah, he's perpetually happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh, keep him there for a minute. Oh, no, Dante, where, where do you keep right. your boxes? I've never seen the basement. Where you keep your boxes. The basement. Oh, basement. oh yes, basement. I have. Never mind. I'm gonna move my camera so you guys can see. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got a yeah. Cause I can't do it, but every, I'm on Instagram all the time, live. Everybody sees my stuff, so it's not like wanna, this is a green screen behind me. I do you collect. Don't wanna, you don't want to. Anthony, the everybody knows where you live. Mm. 
move the camera. All right. Thanks for thanks for freezing me when I was frozen. There, move my camera. But mine, my box is all up in the closet, literally all lined around. Open it. Hashtag open the closet. <laughs> you'll see. You'll, you'll see some. <laughs> see some. Oh, that's suggestive content. Oh. oh, he's definitely a hunter. You can tell he hunts. Unbelievable. Yes, he does. Look at those clean Unbelievable. Little boots. Unbelievable. <laughs> I have no idea what I did. You got some cowboy boots over there? Yeah, yeah. he's a he's a boar hunter. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> well shit, throw. I thought I'd seen everything, bro. Very nice. <laughs> that's why he wants a sideshow figure because he wants to dress up like him unbelievable <laughs> come out of the closet <laughs> <laughs> oh man he's Hell a cowboy. yeah man cowboy yeah so no, I, I, I love my cowboy boots that's all i wear square toe cowboy boots now I, now it makes sense why you want the sideshow figure a hundred percent i know i know you see <laughs> it goes into those roots and i i just love when you look at the sideshow clint eastwood figure those skinny cowboy cut jeans with the with the square toe boots and the poncho and his little i just man oh it's great i'm a little brown neck, i just am worried about the body that's all <laughs> hey guys i think we deserve 100 likes guys I think we we're not there yet. Oh, let's hit a hundred. Like, come on, man. Like, hit the well, like, local like, just joined. This is how you do. This is the mouse. Sign into all your just accounts. Click, like the video. Click, click. Yo, I think I think over half the audience doesn't have a mouse. So, <laughs> like, you gotta well, go. You can in go here. to your phone and click like, like, click, 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 yeah. like, 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 or download the Domino's app. Well, here's the problem. That's I think here's the problem that people <laughs> don't know <laughs> is that you can go to your 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 video and be you, you can close the live chat but don't be don't be scared it's not gone you just hit the like button and then you click the live chat and you're right back right right yeah. I and just of did course, it and if you want to become a member of the channel by all means you can too that helps a lot and and what we're trying to do here guys is to give back to the community you know if we get likes if we get super chats if we get uh, memberships and all that we try to get back to the community and we try and and just so you know, and I mentioned this before, <laughs> look at this freaking guy. I love Joao for this. I just dislike <laughs> this guy. <laughs> That's what interaction. A, That's interaction, man. That's good. <laughs> Joao, so you're something. a Joao, you're a jerk. So when I hit seven thousand, when I hit seven thousand, so actually, <clears throat> let me. I'm gonna just be clear. I wanna rephrase this because I wanted to give. I wanted to do a giveaway. From now to ten thousand, but then I realized, you know what? I'm gonna give away a Boba Fett two pack when I hit Holy ten thousand subscribers. Man. Wait, you 10, said 000. you said you said you're gonna do a giveaway when you hit ten thousand? Ten thousand. But you only have a thousand, so that's nine thousand left. <laughs> nine thousand left. <laughs> but hey, it's a number. But I'm not gonna announce it officially yet. But if give them a Pokemon a number. card. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give out uh, EC's Pokemon um, collection too. Good luck with that. He will. He will. So, is this like a poster? Or is this actually worth something? Oh, Carlos dislike. <laughs> Anthony is like, oh. <laughs> well, I, just, I, I don't know. That's why I wanted to know. I didn't know if no, that was like no, some thing. Pokemon never made that. This is like people make it. And oh, okay. It's like a fan made like thing or. Selling. Yeah. I got you. It's cool, though. <laughs> I know. I know. I like it. It's but, shiny, um,. Cardboard. But yeah, it's been a fun show, man. I didn't want to to go this far, but I think we actually passed the two hour mark, and and that's a lot. Uh, I want to say, yeah, and I want to say thank you everyone for joining us tonight. We are officially at hundred likes, so thank you very much, guys, for the support. Uh, we're gonna close this um, live stream, and I want to know what's going on with my friend Fabio from Fabio Land Figures. Um, oh, thank you for having me as usual. Um, I know guys, it's a pleasure for you to be here on my show. Yes, always. It actually is because this is my only, this is my second home. Um, Easy's bedroom is my first home. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, but finally, no, they, it's it making me so proud that finally he's admitting it openly. And because he's always telling I me, I literally just walked he's out the closet. Because he's always like, I love you, say it back. And I never do. <laughs> but no, thank you guys. Thank you for having me. Um, Thank you guys for watching in the chat. Um, yeah, Fabs Figures, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, 
uh, check out some figures. I got some uh, some stuff a couple of days ago that should be up. So check it out. And thank you. I know, I know. I want to, before we continue, uh, another super chat from Anthony Caravi is $5. In your opinion, what was the worst or not the best figure of 2021? That's a good question. That's a bat girl. You got five seconds to answer that one. What's the yeah, first thing that pops in your head? Bat girl. girl bat girl. And the best Pennywise, 100%. What about you, Anthony? English. Well, I didn't pick her up, but I would say the armor, but she's still awesome. And um, best? Oh, and best? Oh, God. Oh, I didn't say my best. I, I don't know. That's totally bias. I, I would say uh, uh, Ray Skywalker. Actually, Ray no, or whatever bias. from Rise of Skywalker. One. It's a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. What about yeah. you, um, Fabuland? Uh, the worst figure. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I mean, my best figure is Venom, but I know that was, uh, what was it, the end of 2021? So, yeah, yeah, so Venom is my best, and my worst has to be. Uh, I don't know. I like everything. There's like nothing really that I'm like, ah, like I don't like it. You know what I mean? Like that's why I get them because I, I you know, no, like I said, I always say, no matter how bad they are, they're always did you get, they're still the did best. You get Mythos, did you get Mythos Bubble in 2021? Uh, I did. Yeah. So then that's your worst. Uh, no, but that's the thing. Like the outfit is beautiful. At, like the figure is beautiful. It's just that body that's just, just disgusting. You know yeah, what? But you gotta have one like that. Like I still love the armorer, and I'm speaking of hot toys only. Right. That's very hard for me to say that, and people get it. They misconstrued that when I'm like, well, this is the worst of my 2021 collection. I still have her. I still enjoy her. She's part of Mandalorian. I just, you know, what I'm saying the single joints, the weird screws on the bottom, the cheat, the chintzy accessories, mm -hmm. like her outfits, like crunches real easy. Like you know, she's what? not have done better. Let she's me rephrase. Not, she, she's not the prettiest, but she knows how to cook and clean. So no, no, no. <laughs> let me rephrase. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think Bad Girl was uh, the the worst to me. I think Grievous, Grievous was mm. the worst by far. Even oh, though yeah. I tried well, to give you're, the... you're going into other territory that's not. Yeah, that one was a really bad one. Um, and I wanted to get the benefit of the doubt because after all the promises, oh, it's gonna be perfect. You know, joints, no issues, and then you're like, but when I pose the figure, it looks like a freaking like Pinocchio. Like, <laughs> Hi, I'm Pinocchio. You know, like all that <laughs> that bad. So, right. so yeah, so that's to me the, the worst by far. But uh, Anthony, thank you so much for being here, my friend. What's going on at the Mafia World? <laughs> Well, again, thank you for inviting me. As always, it's always cool to be here. Uh, thank, you for for letting me, thank you for letting me talk. Or for you know, I really appreciated all the airtime I received this evening. Um, no, I don't, I don't, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, right, thanks. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. I, have moved, I have been in every square, dude, this whole, oh, just moving okay. us around. Um, I got a lot of stuff coming on, man. Um, we don't really need to get all into it. You guys can come check out the channel if you haven't already. Um, those who have, thank you for the support. I'm always doing stuff over there. I'm always busy, so come check it out if you have not. That's it, Anthony. Hmm. <laughs> show, show me your, show me your your T-shirt. Kling, Klingon, 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 bro. Dante is like Klingon. Dante is like what is that, King Kong? <laughs> Dude, you know that my struggle is with names. I will always. Well, no, you can't. You can't really read it anyway. You can't read it. Death is not defeat. Damn right, bro. Come on, you guys and your anti Star Trek. Your anti. He's like. If he dies, he dies. I love it. Clearly, that's a nice one. You know, you have a nice. You have a nice Exo Six collection too. Everything. Thank yeah, you. they're cool. Even though I'm not into 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 Star Trek, but th those are actually good looking figures. No, yeah, they're cool. Just because you don't like the line doing. doesn't mean that you can't appreciate the figures. They're oh, really no, nice. Of course. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, phenomenal. I knew you were gonna go for that guy. <laughs> I know, right? The best. No, he, I mean, he looks the best awesome. <laughs> <laughs> phenomenal. Phenomenal. I mean, I'm not on. I mean, here. Oh, you know, there we go. There's focus. Is that uh, yeah? That's that's fire. beautiful. Yeah, looks just fire, like man. Him. What we're doing is, is that amazing. Uh, it, well, it is Patrick Stewart. Yeah, he did play Professor X in the Fox movies, but he's oh, also best Fester. known for Captain Jean Luc Picard. Picard, 
And he's going to be in the multiple of madness as well. Uh, yeah, but I think I that's Mephisto. That mm. Is it Corporate Collectibles? <laughs> Hello there. My name is Easy Company Collectibles, and uh, some things. My favorite on. Pokemon is Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going? What's going on your channel, puppy? Same old stuff. Do my reviews and stuff. Buy your passes. Stay tuned. And I had my Spider-Man review up yesterday. Yep. So go check that out. As I'm pretty, watch it's it. pretty, pretty, watch pretty it. figure to watch. Honestly, it's a pretty figure to watch and photograph. Didn't I tell you that? Didn't because... I tell you that? Well, guys, no. if you can wait, if you can before you continue, if you can watch that review on a TV, it'll blow your mind. The colors. Yep. Were so fun to photograph and film. It just my intro was. I I kept watching it over and over on my phone. I didn't watch it even on TV yet. I'm going to watch it on TV. But on my phone, it, because the colors just made it so likable. It just, the green, the red, the blue, and then the backdrop there, it just looks so nice. So nice. Absolutely love that figure. Yeah. Besides the suit. But. No, I like I like the figure. That, you know, my problem is, where do I want to put it? Because I have so much crap coming. <laughs> So it's a lot of things incoming. That's why I'm selling my Marvel figures, guys. If you want to buy something, just hit me on Instagram. Hit yeah, I wanted face. the Gambit, and then you're like, "Oh, I changed oh my no!" Mind. Actually, that one I changed my mind because uh, <laughs> yeah. that changed my mind, and because Fabio told me, "Don't sell it, man." Don't sell it. And I said, you, "You know what? You're right." Because you know, I, I actually like it, but I was I wanted to make a space because that's the only X Men figure I have. But then Bro, I, I realized I could right put it. There. What's that? Oh. Can't see it. Go up. Who's, who's Go up. Where is it? I can see him. Is that the hamburger? No. Nah, dude, dude it's my outline, bro. <laughs> it's like my like outline. He's throwing his cards. Is that John Cena? Ah, blue ass gambit, nightcrawler, ice. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't move. Don't wait, move. Don't move. Go back. I can't down. tell. I can't, yeah, I can't see. Well, Take your I shirt off. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how it's there. Oh, there it is. I see. Uh, you know, I, I still don't and, see oh, it. Stuff was getting covered up. Where's Nightcrawler? I, I right. see it now. I see it. I see it. Dude, you got a naked blue man on your arm. I do. I do. With I a do. tail. Yeah. yeah, and then you know, Deadpool. That's Domino, cool. Deadpool. Oh wow. Yeah. How, how long ago? Life. How long ago did you get those tattoos? Uh, 1967. No, I mean shit, dude. Uh, Fifteen years ago. <laughs> Yeah, it looked. Yeah, I was. That's what I'm asking because they look. Yeah, like you that. need to get the other yeah. forearm done. I know. I'm still <laughs> working on it. My venom's right there. Put up a vote. There, put up a vote. Oh, let, me, let me see. That. Oh, let me see that. Yeah, let me see that. Put them on. No, the other way. The other way. Turn. Uh, there you go. There you go. That one looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. just my outline right now. Dude, so get that filled. Yeah, I know. I got to get all this filled. All this filled. Are you gonna do Jesus a venom? Christ. Are you gonna be doing a venom so guard? Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Wait, I can't see. I can't make him out. Yeah, I'm far away. You should well, do venom his, versus carnage. Yeah, they they, they use Keen out. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> you see him? Yeah. He's like, shoot, hold on. Because it looks I like a shit microphone. everywhere, dude. So yeah, yeah, I need that gambit. Where is your? Where is your? Where is your? Where is your, uh, your your Barbie tattoo? Oh, it's in my. It's in my lower back. We no, dude. You know how that you know how that works, right? You know, like a Prince Albert, it's kind of like that with all ink. Split the ass cheeks and it oh, completes man. itself. If you Whoa. I know. I know. But anyway, what? guys, this has been a very, very fun stream. Uh thank you everyone for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Uh we're gonna have another live stream I just on Friday. All my ink. Jesus. I know, right? 8 30 p.m. Sure. Eastern time. I'm going to be doing the unbox unboxing and review of a figure that I should have got like a few months ago, but got lost in mail, which is courtesy of my friend Fabio from Fast Figures. He's going to send me. Actually, it's actually on his it'll, way. It'll, it'll be there tomorrow. Yes, it will It will be here tomorrow. Is a zombie Deadpool, and I'm going to do like a really fun intro to it. So stay tuned for that. It's probably going to drop on the weekend because I'm going to be working from now until Friday nonstop. So on the weekend, you're going to see that coming. Wait, and tomorrow Tomorrow is what, Wednesday? Tomorrow is Wednesday already. We're still waiting and for you, some you releases. Said, you man. said you're going to do it on the weekend? Yeah. Well, it looks like you better hurry up because I want my... <laughs> oh, actually, I'm, 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 I'm actually, kidding. I'm kidding. No, actually, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna keep that one. Actually, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna buy another one. I'm gonna send it your way because I want to uh, keep that one. Yeah, I'll be at your house picking it up. Thank you, though. 
<laughs> or, or I'll send you broke it. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll send you my Freddy Krueger. <laughs> the butter, the butter yeah. Krueger. The butter Krueger, like uh, it's gonna be, uh, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be sealed only display. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. So please subscribe to all my friends' channels here. And as always, be well, and see you around in the next video. Like a panda. Mm. <laughs> like a panda.